better for Jesus. Amen and amen. I believe we can do that much better for Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a good God, isn't he? Hallelujah. Praise God. Good evening, everyone. Praise God. You can have your seats in God's presence. Amen and amen. How was our day? How was your day, sir? It was good. Awesome. So you can ask your neighbor how his day or her day was and get some feedback. Gift, how was your day? Gift, how was your day? It was good. All right. Amen. Amen. Okay, so before I go on, I would like to... Um, honor and thank our spiritual father and mother, Pastor Daly and Pastor Maureen Oshimakinde. Can you help me celebrate them for this opportunity to teach God's word to God's people? It's not a, a casual thing to do. It's something that I do not take for granted. And so I thank you so much, sir and ma, for giving me this privilege. God bless you indeed. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for the gift of righteousness. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you, Father, for the gift of grace. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Even as we've gathered here around your word, we pray that the entrance of your word will bring light and understanding to our simple hearts in the name of Jesus. That we will receive God's word with meekness in our hearts. And this word will transform and change our lives for the good in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. For in Jesus, for in Jesus precious name we have prayed. Amen. Okay, um, I'm supposed to be centralized, right? Okay, so, okay, that's fine. Uh, but I, I feel like drifting a bit. Okay. Um, so tonight I'll be talking about prayers. The prayer. Amen. <laughs> I'll be talking about prayer, and I would like to start by asking a question. Why is prayer one of the most difficult Christian exercises to consistently engage? Anybody? Why is praying, supplicating, praying, why is it one of the most difficult Christian exercises to consistently engage? Anybody wants to help me? Pastor Peace. So maybe because um, it, you, you, that's personal prayer now. Uh, I think the major reason is because you are praying to something you cannot see. And so you're by yourself in your room praying and supplicating and just, and you're not even sure if the person is hearing, can hear you, or how soon you're going to get a response. As opposed to when you're talking to somebody, you're having a conversation with a friend. You can, somebody is speaking to you, you can hear the person. For prayer, you're just praying, speaking in tongues, shabalaba, you are, you are not sure what this. So you can start off very, very enthusiastically, but when you are not sure, okay, that's, that's where the consistency becomes um, something that you can sustain. Excellent. Praise God. Praise God. Who else wants to help us? Chef, you want to help us? <laughs> Any other person? You want to help us? Good. What's the name, sir? Olayemi. All right, please. Is Jesus praying is is one of the exercise in church that you can, you will do with altar of hypocrites. It's something that sorry I didn't get that. Can you start praying? Going? It's one of those exercise in church that you just have to do with no hypocrite, with no trace of hypocrisy, mm. because it's the only thing that you can do with out of diligence. And I think it's the only one that is the only exercise that you can take part of in church without deceiving anybody. Okay. Okay. So that's why you think it's a little Thank difficult you. to be consistent with it. Praise God. Okay. Who else wants to help us with this important question? Amen. Amen. I think it's all right. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think prayer is very difficult to practice consistently because it requires a certain level of concentration. Okay. Like you have to focus on God. You have to focus on his word. And as human beings, we are very distracted. You know, while praying, you get to start thinking about all of the things that have been bothering you. And 
too many people just get distracted by their activities, so it's very difficult to invest that time with God. Interesting. Okay, so do we think that by understanding some of the benefits of prayer, it may perhaps encourage us to do more of it? Do we think so? Do we think that by understanding the benefits of a thing, it helps you engineer that will to do it? Because now you're no longer doing it religiously. You're doing it because there is an intent. There is something you're trying to achieve. And you know what that thing, doing that thing can achieve in your life. Do you think understanding those benefits can help you become more consistent with it? Because um, prayer is one of those things that have been religiously done over the years. Many times people just pray and like Oinko rightly said, it requires a lot of concentration, but a lot of times when people pray, they do it without concentrating. And as a matter of fact, praying in tongues has perhaps contributed to our laziness in the place of prayer. Because now your mind is unfruitful. So uh, you just go on and just keep, like he said, a rather blood in a way. You understand? You just say all of those things. You don't understand what you're saying. And your mind can as well be feasting on some completely different thoughts while you are praying in tongues. Praise God. And then at the end of everything, you have not really seen the material equivalent of the benefit of the things that you prayed about. Especially because you didn't even know what you said in the first place. You can't, you, you can't trace the answer. Praise God. And so tonight we're going to be doing a little bit of um, teaching on prayer. And much more than just doing a teaching on prayer, we're going to be praying tonight. Amen. Because there's really no point teaching prayer if you will not pray. Amen. So by God's grace tonight, I'll be teaching on what I've titled Prayer Constructs. All right, since we are going through the, the PD pathway, <laughs> we're staying on the PD, you know, faith lane, and we have to try to adjust all our, um, what's the word now, word registers to align with those operational constructs. Amen. <laughs> so we're going to be teaching on Prayer Constructs. Prayer Constructs. So... What does that even mean to start with? Okay, so prayer. What is prayer? What is the essence of prayer? Why did God create such a boring and laborious activity for the Christian to continue to engage in? Especially something you cannot necessarily track. You can't track its efficiency. You can't track the benefit it's having. If I'm punching a guy, the guy can feel the punch. You can feel it. But when you're praying, you can't really see. There is no basket that is storing it up that is making you understand how much of it you're doing and how e effective that thing you're doing is in your life. So why exactly and how do we navigate through this concept called prayer without getting tired? And whenever it comes to praying, you see God always introduces this concept of not being weary. Because he understands that the way prayer is designed, if you continue to engage it without getting requisite responses from your environment, that this prayer I prayed is working, there is a tendency to begin to get weary, to begin to get tired and faint in your heart. And so the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. And that well-doing is talking about prayer. One of the very important things that we must not be weary in well-doing is praying. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. And like Apostle Arome rightly said, the opposite of prayer is not praying, is not prayerlessness, all right? It is fainting because praying and strength are one and the same thing. And that is why a prayerless Christian is a weak Christian. That's the truth. You're weak if you do not pray consistently. It's like you're discharging balance from your hand and you're not able to pray with it. Some of the 
a navigating device. And one of the reasons why it is so important in our lives is because confusion is one of the biggest infirmities in the world. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. It says that, you see, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought. For the Spirit himself, what? Makes intercessions for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. For he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is. He's the one that makes intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. But he starts by saying there is an infirmity, and that infirmity is the fact that we do not know what to pray for as we ought. You don't want to be confused in life. It's one of the biggest infirmities in the world. Biggest infirmities in the world. You just don't know what to do. Do you know a dangote today will give all you can to the Lord God? If he understood what will happen in 10 years, he would, he would, it would affect his behavior today. And the richest of men understand the value of that information. That they will sell all they have to gain that information so that they can position themselves in the future to be richer than they are now. Do you understand? That's the power of understanding what you have. Understanding the power of direction. And so, there was a time in the land of Israel where King Saul turned every single witch or wizard or anybody doing divination and all of those things. And he said, no, I don't want to see you ever again. Cast them out of the land of Israel. And every witch left. He cast them out. He threw them out of the land. And then it got to a time that Samuel had died. Needed direction. Saul needed to know whether he was going to win the battle against the Philistines or not. He needed to know what to do. Just because he could not move forward without a sense of direction. That is how important getting a sense of direction is to people. And that's why you don't blame anybody that goes to anybody to get direction. To, to the Ufa priest or to any mountain or anybody that is, because there is just something attractive about telling me something about my future. There is just something I want. I want to just hang on it. Oh, this will happen tomorrow. Wow. And then you just, you just, you don't want to, because you now have an extraterrestrial information. And Saul himself disguised and went into the witch of Endor to inquire of her. He said, bring back the spirit of Samuel from him and he asked the question. I need answers. I need direction. But guess what? This is one of the things that prayer does. He helps you to navigate. You may not have all the answers in your head, but if you can pray, you cannot be confused. I can assure you that if you still have the ability to pray, you don't have the ability to confuse in the same breath. Because praying itself is a navigating device. The challenge that a lot of people have that they're confused, they don't know what to do, is because they've not been praying enough. That's the truth. It, see, the truth is this. Even when you pray, you don't know exactly what to do. The fact that you're praying is navigating you already. You are moving in the right direction. You are seeing the right people. Because prayer begins to become not a hand. It begins to bring people your way. It begins to arrange incidences. Just like Pastor Mark Warren talks about it. It's not coincidence. It's God incidence because you are praying. We don't know what to pray for as we are. We don't have an, an understanding of our future. We don't have a full grasp of what God has in store for us. But we can pray. We can take hold together with him. You think you don't have the ability to be confused. You walk in light because you have the torch of life. That's the pattern. That's the pattern. So you don't look for opportunities Casually, You don't look for opportunities logically. You don't look for opportunities scientifically. You look for opportunities prayerfully. You don't look for people in those ways. You don't look for people casually, logically, or emotionally. You look for people strategically in the place of prayer. Because that is what navigates your path. And somehow or the other, verse 28 now happens to you. Because you have already prayed in verse 26. You don't know what to pray for as you ought, but the Spirit himself helps your infirmity, your inability to know, your inability to navigate your own path yourself, and then he begins to pray along with you until verse 28 now happens. We always like to quote verse 28. We don't understand that verse 28 was preceded by verse 26 and 27. We like to say that all things work together for good. All things. But have you prayed? Have you engaged the Holy Ghost? Have you prayed? Have you prayed? Because verse 28 is what we all quote. All things work together for good. Somebody that is not praying. All things are not working for your good or bad. They are not. If you have not prayed verse 26, you have no right or access to verse 28. He says, now we know. When you pray,
pray. You don't need to know the details. You just know that things are working. You don't need to know all the details. You don't have to know how God will bring somebody. You don't have to. I don't. I didn't need to know this guy's name. I didn't need to know that I was going to meet him in Mende. I, I, I didn't. I was not privy to all that information. I just prayed, and I kept praying that God bring this guy my way. And somehow, all things worked together. For me. My insistence on hundred naira worked together for my good. Right? <laughs> Praise God. And that's how powerful prayer is. So a prayerful person can never be stranded in life. Never. If I go to Kuwait tomorrow, there's somebody there waiting for me to receive me with gladness because I'm a man of prayer. That is the way Paul went into cities. He didn't go into cities feeling, I don't have anybody here. How will I survive? No. He went everywhere understanding that the earth is the Lord and as long as he could pray, God will navigate resources his way. God will bring him into places, connect him with people. He will just find himself in rest because he is a man of prayer. That's what prayer does. He helps you navigate. How often do you need navigation? Uh -huh. So how often should you pray? All the time. Because you don't know what to pray for as yours. You don't know how you will, you will navigate the rapids. Prayer. A, a, an extraterrestrial hand navigating things in your direction and in your favor. That's why you need to pray. Many times we just pray religiously. Oh, pray is good to pray. Why should you pray? Because it's very good. <laughs> Why? What makes it so good? I don't know, but prayer is good. And then people are getting weary in praying. They don't, even, they don't know how to track the effect of prayer. But guess what? There's so many things that have happened in your favor that you had no idea about. Oh, you had no idea about. Because guess what? If you are praying, all things are working for your good. If you're praying. If you're praying, all things are adding up. They're working together for your good because you love God and you're called according to his purpose. This is very important. There are life decisions you will make. There are things you will... See, life is not supposed to be this difficult. Right? For a person who prays, for somebody who connects with a God who knows everything, life shouldn't be so difficult. Why do I have to figure out where, where I will live who I will marry, whether it's the one for me, whether I should take a job. Like our life is a script. Just act it out. If you pray, you will just enter into truths. You will enter into realities. You will enter into experiences because you have prayed. Guess what? Because you have prayed, you have told God in advance that even when my head is not correct, navigate me. You are, you, because you have told God that, see, you are praying in language that you don't understand. So guess what you are doing when you are praying in tongues? There is a plan God has already placed about your life. Bible says everything about you, Son of God, your faith, right? Has been written in the book, every single detail of your life. And then you come into this world, and then you are clueless about it, and rightly so. And you're like, oh, the generated spirit does not know anything about it. But you get born again, and you still do not know the details. And so when you pray in tongues, what you are telling God is this, because, you see, we are not like birds, that um, it's, it's almost an instinctive thing. We have a will here. All right, God cannot just take our lives and just match it with our will or match it with the will of God for, for our lives and then just, we are not robots. He, he needs the authorization of our vocal cords. That is our signature in the realm of the spirit. When you say a thing, God endorses it, right? Because that is what you need to permit him to get involved in your own life. Do you understand that? God cannot just intrude into your life. He needs your authorization and your words are your signature. Without signatures, no document is valid, right? So in the sense, in the same sense, without your words in or or approving something that God has already said he will do, he will not do it. Because in your life it will remain undone. You have not accepted it by the words of the Lord. And so tongues is that apparatus that God has given us to be able to permit him to do the perfect will of God for our life. Even when it does not make any sense to you, because if you pray it in English, you will not pray it. You will finish it. You will finish the prayer. But you say, ah, no, 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 I don't want this one. Because you understand what you are saying. But when you pray in tongues, you are telling God all the things he has ordained for you to do that must be done. And you are telling him that even when I don't understand, even when my head is not correct and I want to make another choice, correct me back into that path. That's what you are telling God. So what, for a person who prays in tongues, you see, a bulk of your pain, a bulk of your decision making has been handled. Praise the Lord. It has. It has. It has. You don't have to now begin to worry, am I making the right? Have you prayed in tongues? Check yourself. Because if you have prayed in tongues, you have authorized God through your vocal cords without knowing what you were saying. You have compared spiritual things with spiritual. God has looked at your life and he saw that it is not in alignment with what he ordained for your life. So he begins to correct it. And if anybody accosts him and says, what is your, why are you doing this? He has authorized you. He didn't know he did, but he did. Because when you pray in 
Make some of us busy in the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not going to dwell on tongues so much today because there is so much to say in that regard. But one thing I want you to understand about praying is that it's a navigating device. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The second thing you need to understand about prayer is that it's a reinforcing device. It's a strengthening device and it's an expanding device. In the same point too. It reinforces, it strengthens, and it expands. So this has to do with capacity building. Oh boy. There is only so much God can do with your life if he has not expanded you for the next level that he wants you to get into. And one of the ways he expands your capacity to get into that which he wants you to get into the next level is by prayers and supplication. Is by prayers and supplication. Without prayer and supplication consistently, there is only so much you can handle at the level that you are. Because you are not just flesh and blood. There is a spirit in you. And if that spirit does not grow in capacity, some things will not be attracted into your life. Some things will not. Some things will work, they will walk and pass you by because you don't have the capacity to handle it. So prayer is one of those avenues to expand your capacity as a person. You are, see, once you grow into that capacity, everything around you will know you have entered it and they will begin to pursue you. Because you have prayed into that stature. You pray into statures in the realm of the spirit. You get into stature, into spaces by prayers and supplication. You get into stature. You will grow into a place where the things that you are praying so hard to get before, you will think it and it will come. Because you have grown into a stature. You are no longer meandering and weak in life. Proverbs 24 and verse 10, Bible says, you see, if you faint in the day of adversity, it was not the attack that was high. It was not the attack that was so much. It was your strength that was weak. So we never give excuses about, oh, it was the enemy, it was the enemy. The temptation was so strong, I had to fall. No, you didn't have to fall. Your strength was weak. And the reason why your strength was weak was because you were not praying. Oh, you were not praying. You were not praying. So one way God expands your capacity is by getting you into praying. Sometimes you, you know, how does people say it? God will just, he will measure fast and prayer for you. He don't measure it. Oh, well, for just take this one. And you don't know why you're doing those things. You don't have to be looking for a promotion to pray and fast for days. You don't have to. You don't have to. You just pray and fast to just get some level of capacity, some stature, some just, you just want something fresh, something new. You need strength for the journey ahead. And fasting and prayer is one of those ways. And so Jesus couldn't take a step anywhere into ministry until he prayed and fasted for several days. And by the time he was stepping out, he, had, he didn't need to do anything before his fame spread abroad, Bible says. How? Because his capacity had grown so large in the place of prayer, supplication, fastings. Praise the name of the Lord. If you check Luke chapter, is it Luke chapter 5 now, verse 37, there about. Amen. Are we still together? Amen. Bible says you don't put new wine, right? Into old, old bottles. So you put new wine into new bottles, right? Because if you put a new wine into old bottles, what happens? You, you, will, you will waste the wine and you will damage the bottle. So let's backtrack a little bit. Verse 35. Verse 35. Praise God. Are we still together? Verse 34. Verse 34. Verse 34. All right. Let's go to verse 32. So that we understand the context of that scripture. So you understand that he was talking about capacity there. He says in verse 32, I have not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. Verse 33 now. Then they said to him, why do the disciples of John fast often, right? And make prayers. And likewise those of the Pharisees, but yours eat and drink. <laughs> so the next verse. And he said unto them, can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is still with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. The bridegroom was their capacity. He was everything they needed. He was their capacity. They didn't need capacity. He was there. He was their capacity. Remember that. He was their capacity. So when, when storms came and they couldn't rebuke it, he came and rebuked it for them. So everything he represented was about to leave. And he said that is when they will need this agency. So he says, listen, 
they will fast often. They, they don't wait. They are still enjoying. You know when they say last bulb? They are always saying, yo. You understand? Then he spoke a parable unto them. No one puts a what? A piece of new garment on an old one. Otherwise, and no one puts new new wine into old wine skin, or else the new wine will burst, and the wine skins will be spilled, and the wine skin will be ruined. So you see the context in which he talked about the new wines and old and, and old bottles. It was in the context of capacity, and there was a connection to prayer and fasting as a direct link to increasing capacity to handle substance. And so if some things are not entering into your life, if some things that you desire so much are not entering into your life, somehow you can link it to a deficiency in prayer, a deficiency in fasting. <laughs> These things may not sound exciting, but that is the way God has made it so, all right? It may not be the most exciting of the things, but you see, that is what exactly Jesus was telling them. That they don't need this thing you're asking them now. What are they fasting for? I'm here. I'm there fasting and prayer. What they will get, I am it. <laughs> when they pray and fast, I am the result of their prayer and fasting, and I'm still here. So why do they need to keep praying and fasting when I'm here? And so he says, I will soon go, and they will never be able to enter into the dimensions that I was able to represent for them until they pray and fast. And that's why he told them, I said, guys, I'm still with you. How long do I need to suffer you to keep healing diseases and raising the dead on your behalf? He rebuked them at some point when they couldn't cast out a little demon. And then he said, don't worry. Some things like this will never go out except by what? By prayer and fasting. Because until your capacity has increased to a level, there are some results you will never be able to command. You can't. Until prayer and fasting have been mixed with it. <laughs> you have to mix it. <laughs> this Christian faith is concoction. You will mix prayer. You will mix with fasting and giving and giving of thanks and joy. You will mix everything. It's not a, it's not a one ingredient meal. You will mix a lot to get into that desired heaven. Praise God. And so capacity is increased in the place of prayer. Strength is released in the place of prayer. Expansion happens in the place of prayer. And so you should not dare some projects until you are prayed into their capacities. You should not dare some projects. There are some projects we are asking for now that God in his mercy will stop you from getting it. Because if they land on you, it will crash you. So God will say, you know what? Walk with me. Let me take you through a journey of capacity building and expansion and strengthening and reinforcement. Once you get into that capacity where you have already become a father of many nations, then you will start giving birth to nations by giving birth to Isaac. Praise the name of the Lord. Capacity is important. And one of the ways you get into that capacity building is through prayers and supplication. The third thing, the third thing, praise the name of the Lord. The third thing, is what? What's the third? What's the third benefit of praying and supplication? Now, so I said prayer, first thing is what? Is a what? Is a navigating device. Then it's a reinforcing device, a strengthening device, a an expansion device or an expansive device, whichever one you want to call it. Now, the third thing is that prayer is a detonating device. <laughs> I like that one. Praise God. I like that. You see, because you see, when you begin to engage this dimension of prayer, you will become a big threat and worry and headache. And if all you are doing is just giving the devil headaches, you are doing well. You are doing well. You are distracting him from other people. At least those ones have time to repent and change. And just because you are there, some people are enjoying it. Because you are giving the devil so much headache. John G. Lake entered a place. I mean, that place over time had become so much of a, a major feasting ground for the enemy. So anytime people come around there for... for you know, for evan uh, evangelism and crusades, there's this mad woman possessed by demons that will just come and scatter everywhere. Just come and scatter everywhere. Ah, scatter everywhere. They will not be able to preach. The pastor will be saying, you know what, see, let's take this revival to another city, another town. Just this mad woman, she will not allow us. So John G. Lee came to that place and he, so he had heard a lot about that, that particular woman and ah, she would always scatter everywhere. And so he got there. Amen. Capacity. God. Back in secondary school, used to call it what? Kappa. Used to call it Kappa. You see where he went? <laughs> Praise God. So, you see, <laughs> let, me, let me just share this. So, if you were a senior, you either had Kappa or you didn't have Kappa. 
you're a senior and if you're a captain, a respected captain, you either have kappa or you didn't have kappa. Those that have kappa, you see, 5,000 students are running or are walking. Once they see you, they start running. Because now you have kappa, right? You are the head boy or whatever it is. But because you have kappa, when they see you from afar, they go, ah, head boy, hey, they will start running. But those that don't have kappa, we all look at them and I offend him, nothing. There's no consequence for anything I do around him, so I beg. I can as well ignore him. But those that have kappa, ah, don't try them. Because, you see, there is consequence to not respecting them or giving them the honor due them. Why? Because they have what? So I ask your neighbor, do you have kappa? <laughs> so John G. Lake entered that same space and looked at the mad woman and said, one of the reasons why you've not been seeing so much of the manifestations we used to hear about. 
detonating device. It's a detonating device. Acts chapter 16, talking about Paul and Silas. They have been locked up in stocks and they were jailed and their hands were in stocks. Their legs were... The mistake the jailers made was to keep their mouth open. They left their mouth open. If they had locked their mouth and left everything open, they were safer with their mouth locked. And if every the Bible says their hands and their legs were cast in stocks. Do you know what that means? Do you know, do you know how awkward that is? And then in those days, it was not chained. You will, it was on the floor. Your leg and your hand on the floor. And the Bible says at midnight, they began to pray and to sing hymns unto the Lord. Before we knew what was going on, earthquake happened. And every single person was delivered because some people chose to pray at midnight. It's a detonating device, by the way. Oh, there are some things that will never happen until you pray. I always give testimony about Ebola crisis, how I went to church on that Sunday when the Ebola thing was really high. And then the pastor brought a person, a, another pastor friend of his, to come and preach. Instead of the preaching on that Sunday, it was a woman, all right, a pastor who came to educate us on Ebola. You don't understand. Instead of having the message on that Sunday when the Ebola crisis was so strong and everything, the woman came and started telling us all the reasons why we must run away from anybody that had Ebola, the symptom and the whole cycle and how it works and everything. And you could, you could cut the fear in the atmosphere. You could cut it. It was that powerful. It was that strong. And then she filled everybody with fear. I was angry in my spirit. And then somebody who had enough boldness to ask, Ma, uh, Ma, uh, please. The Bible says that we should lay hands on the sick. Yeah, it's not Ebola. That was a response. He said, it's not Ebola. Don't even try it. It's Ebola. Ah, Ebola. Ke. You want to lay what? Don't run. I'm like, what? So you put the reality above the efficacy of God's word. And you call yourself. I was angry. And so that night I said to you, tonight I'm fighting with Ebola. Because I knew it was a demonic attack on my brain. I went into my closet that evening. I was angry. And for 45 minutes I prayed until I sweated so much. I don't think I've ever sweated that that way in my life. I sweated so much. I prayed and I, I knew I was looking at Ebola in the face and I was attacking it. The next day I was so sick in my body because the devil attacked me back. Oh yes, because I knew that this thing was a demonic attack on Nigeria. It was much more than a viral infection. Oh yes, it was more. Because we didn't have enough infrastructure to even be able to evict it from the shores of Nigeria. How did it leave? Some people were praying. I tell you. Because prayer is a detonating device. It is. Yes, it is. You can, you can orchestrate things. You can throw missiles in the realm of the spirit by praying. You can. You can shield yourself from unnecessary infiltrations of the enemy by praying. It's a shielding device. It's a detonating device. You can attack the camp of the enemy. Oh, Gideon didn't know how powerful he was in the realm of the spirit. He was afraid until he began to hear what the enemies were saying about him. He said, eh, this is what you think about me? And he went back to his camp and he received courage and he went and defeated the army. Why? Because prayer is a detonating device. It, it will make you understand what you have in the realm of the your capacity, your resources, and to help you in detonating it. Oh, Elijah understood the power of prayer. James chapter 4. The Bible says that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man makes power. It can be deployed. What is the power for? Is it to just stay at potential energy in your spirit, man? No. It can be deployed. So when you see people say that if you touch her, you will die. See, they know what they are saying. People have died on the account of the, those words before. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, because they are men of prayer. One, one of those days back on campus, a lady came to me. She said, my lecturer, I didn't know where this word came out from. I, I'm a person of grace and faith, all right? But you see, there are some things that don't require such, such level of meekness. You don't need to be that meek. So the lady came to me and said, one of our lecturers was asking to sleep with her to get the results. And I, I didn't know where that word came out from. I just asked that girl. I said, does B want to die? That was all I said. And the girl herself was, asked, was afraid. She said that was the last time the man came to her. That was the last time. I don't know where he got the signal from from the realm of the spirit that somebody is about to kill him. Because I only asked that girl. I said, does he want, I've never said such, I am not that kind of a person, amen? <laughs> I don't intend to kill anybody, please. I only ask the question, does he want, because I understood that, see, by prayers and supplication, you can deal with some things, and you cannot be arrested because there's no evidence. <laughs> there's no evidence. You pray, you get the job done, you 
go eat, you clean your mouth, and you come out, and nobody knows anything has just happened. Because prayer is a detonating device. And the last thing as we begin to wrap up is that prayer is a transformative device. This is the most important part of prayer. And like Apostle Samuel rightly said that day, it is not about warfare alone. It is part of it. It's a detonating device, remember? It is not only about getting your needs met. It's part of it, but that's not the essence of prayer. The biggest, the biggest benefit of prayer is the transformation that happens when you pray. Oh, let me explain this to you. Gethsemane is not just a place. Gethsemane is a state. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Jesus, the, the savior of the world, the ruler of the universe, he was discouraged at some point in his life and ministry. He got to a point where he needed strength. And the only thing that could supply that strength was prayer. You must never discount the power of prayer. Jesus was weak in the flesh. He had emotional issues. He was depressed and felt, my heart is full of sorrow. How can you, how can you carry the burden and the sin of the entire world? Not just of the people that have lived, but of the people that will ever live several years after you are gone. And you will not have a heart attack as a human being. Jesus was sorrow. The Bible says he was exceedingly sorrowful. But guess what? He entered Gethsemane, prayed three times. Oh, prayed. He went out the first hour. He asked them, what are you guys saying? They've slept off. Ah, it's better you pray now. Better pray. They didn't pray. You are not praying for Jesus. You are not praying. You are praying for yourself. He, Jesus was praying for himself. He was not asking you to pray for him. Carry with me so that you can pray for yourself. Not carry for me. Carry with me. Pray too. They didn't pray. He went. Prayed another one hour. Came back. He was sleeping. He went to bed. He said the same thing. And by the time he came out, glory to God, he was encouraged. He was emboldened. The Bible says in John's account, when they asked for the guy, Jesus, he only said, I am he. Cast to Gahala. See, you don't understand. He only said, I am he. That was all he said. He entered Gethsemane a depressed man. He came out empowered, strengthened. He only said, I am he. And Bible says they fell to the, to the ground. The people that kept arresting with swords and staffs, they fell to the ground. And he waited. Get up, get up. It's okay. Get up. It's all right. You will wake up. Uh, and he, I'm still he. Jesus, the one you have come to arrest. And Peter, because he did not pray. Listen to me. One of the biggest signs that you are not praying is emotional reaction. One of the biggest signs. Not the praying is the fact that you are very reactionary. You react to everything. Somebody says something, ah, you must react, you must, you must vex. Prayer will temper you to calm your nerves. It will get you to rest. You don't always, you don't always have to throw tantrums because you are not praying. That's the problem. You have not allowed the Holy Ghost to temper your emotions. And so Peter, who was not praying, who was sleeping while Jesus was praying? He cut off somebody's ear. Mouth cut off his nose. Cut off the guy's right ear. From that, I know that Peter was, I think, left-handed. The Bible says he cut off. stay because nobody was strong enough because nobody was praying nobody was praying when jesus was praying to carry his own cross they were not praying to carry their cross 
They were not praying to stand strong and stand the test of time. That in the face of accusation, you still say, no, I believe this guy. This is my guy. This is my master. He is my, he is my Lord. They couldn't stay. They couldn't wait. They, they were too weak in themselves. They were not praying. They were not receiving strength. They were not receiving expansion. They were not receiving reinforcement. So when the vicissitude of life came, when, when intimidations came, they couldn't stand the test of time. Persecutions came. Trials came. And they couldn't stand the test of time because they were not praying. They were not praying. They were not praying. So what prayer does is that it transforms you. It changes you entirely. You worry less. You are anxious less. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in all things, by prayer, supplication, wrapped up in thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. And the, what's the peace? Oh, it changes your psyche. Everybody's worried about Boko Haram. Everybody's worried about economy. In the midst of that, you just are calm because you are afraid. Your emotions are changing. Your desires are changing. Your thinking is changing because you are transforming while you are praying. But we all, with open face, beholding us in the glass, the glory of the Lord, we are changing to that same age from glory to glory as by the Spirit of God because we are praying. It's not just on the leg of the word. It's on the leg of the prayer. Two must make it stand. Your prayer life is, your, 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 your Christian life is not just about word. You must pray. You pray through. Back in, in chapel those days, we had one thing, push. Oh, there was one young man, or one small little image, pushing a mighty rock. I remember that image very vividly in my heart. And only the rope push. Pray until something happens. Oh, those, those terminologies are fast leaving us. Because we've not, we don't really believe in the power of prayer anymore. We believe in motivational speeches and all of those things. And grandiose talking and philosophies of men. Those things, listen, those things. When the rubber hits the road, those things never produce results. But when you're a man of prayer, even without you saying a word, results, 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 because you're praying. Because you're praying. It transforms you. It changes you inside out. It makes you a completely different person. Because you're praying. It tempers you. Matthew chapter 11 from verse 28. What does the Bible say there? It says, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy lady. He said, and I will give you rest. And then you will think, he will say, bring your yoke and put it on my head. Take my yoke upon you. Ah, you have not told us to remove our own yoke. You are asking us to take our yoke, your own yoke upon you. Uh, how? If you are weary and you are heavy laden, you have a lot of yoke and burdens on your neck and your head, come unto me. I will give you rest. And how I will give you rest is by giving you another extra yoke. How does that happen? The yoke, one of the yokes he gives you is the yoke of prayer. It's a burden. He says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That yoke there, one of the very instrumental things it represents is prayer. When you begin to take that prayer, on, see, when you begin to take upon yourself the yoke of prayer, the burden of prayer and supplication, guess what? The yokes that you were carrying disappears. It is an easier yoke to carry. So you think you have issues in your life and you're not praying. It's because you don't understand. The bigger burden is not praying. Oh, you don't get that. The bigger burden, the bigger yoke is not praying. When you pray, you take upon yourself the yoke of prayer. Guess what? All the yokes and burdens that you are carrying to Jesus, he will give you rest. That's what the peace in Philippians 4, 7 represents. The peace of God that passes all understanding will guide and rule your hearts. It will change you. It will transform your life. Because prayer is a transformative device. This is why we need to pray. When people understand this, how often do you need transformation? How often do you need transformation and expansion and strengthening? How often do you need people? How often do you need navigation and direction and lights? How often? You need it every single time of the day. So how often should you pray? You pray every day. Pray every time. Pray every moment you get. When you're in the restroom, when you're in the car, when you're in the bus, in transit, in traffic, you pray, you pray, you pray. There is no end to prayer because there is no end to transformation. There is no end to navigation. There is no end to strength. If you faint in the day of adversity, the devil does not send you a memo that I'm about to attack you tomorrow. You have to remain prayed up. You have to be prayed up, ready for any time. Because he doesn't come and send your memo and say, oh, tomorrow I'm coming, I'm coming. So prepare for me. No way, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. Who will be tied to you if you are not prayed up, if you are not ready? So he says, praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit. And watching there unto without perseverance and supplication for all saints. We keep praying. You never stop. You never stop. Can we just pray for a few moments this evening? Can we just pray for a few moments? I'm just praying, I'm just praying, I'm just praying to some realities tonight. Shati brasi kalabahaks di galahavia. Jete berebo si kale bregedeia. Ete tete tu karabalabala. Ete su kabregele di bahakas. Ika.
je pata zo prakati je prata tama to zo poto come on everywhere pray ha ha ye shapata zelekate zile prokoto zo pekate there is more there is more there is more halakata shatia lipoto zo prokoto zilakata e shapande kile pekate i refuse to be an ordinary person ha 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 I refuse to be an ordinary Christian. I refuse to be a powerless Christian. E Sharia Shapata Lekete Ezu Proko Prekete Zile Prekete E Shapata Nekati Zele Kato Zele Prekete Vizekete Rekete We saturate this place with the power of the Holy Ghost. E Kapate Kete Rekete Zile Prekete We fill this atmosphere with power with charge of this place for that which God is about to do in our midst Holy Spirit you are welcome feel this temple with your presence oh God Holy Spirit you are welcome Feel this temple with your presence. We wait on you. Come on, come on, we wait on Jesus. We wait on you. Hey, Lord, we wait on you. Lift your voice and say, We wait. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you, oh God. Come on, can I just lift your hands all about this building? We wait on Jesus. We are just charging up the atmosphere. Lift your voice, lift your hands and say, We wait on you, God. Father, we wait on you. <laughs> for your power, for your grace, for your anointing. Lord, we wait on you. Say, we wait on you, God. We wait on you. Make a Lipoko zopokoto jilekete. We wait on you, oh Lord. Lord, we wait on you. For here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. Everybody say, all oh, together lovely. You are together worthy. Hey, all together wonderful. Wonderful to me. See, here I am to worship. Here I am. Helepo Sharia da da de bom. Hena kata te ya na kosheli ya na mom. Hima kato zoli ya la pata. Eshepete zilepo. Oh, all together, Lord God. Hima na kaya kete repete. Ye patata ta repete. All together, wonderful. Holy Spirit, welcome into a mission. Romans chapter 15, as we begin to pray, we're starting off with Romans chapter 15. That's our prayer point, as it were. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 15, are you there? Romans chapter 15 and 13. Glory to Jesus. I, I, I do not intend to teach. We've had teachings already. This is going to be a time of robust and intense prayers all right so i'll just um say one or two things i will just go ahead to pray romans chapter 15 and 13 we are praying the power line prayers the power line prayers one of the most potent prayers for the new testament believer romans chapter 15 and 13 the bible says now may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now, let me explain this like, like, like this. If you travel, if, you are, if you've ever traveled before, like travel by air, you will understand that um, 
When you're about to travel, they give you something they call a boarding pass. It's like a boarding pass. Hallelujah. You know, you, you, you know, sometimes we talk so much about faith that um, we fail to neglect hope. So hope is like that boarding pass that takes you to the plane. The plane, the boarding pass is not what takes you to your destination. Hallelujah. The boarding pass is what takes you to the aircraft. That now takes you to your destination. Hallelujah. So hope is like that boarding pass. Even though you have not gotten to the aircraft, there is something you are open for. Even though when other flights are being called, you are in hope. You know, noting that you are still going to get to the aircraft. Hallelujah. So it says, now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So even when I'm in hope, I am rejoicing. Hallelujah. There is peace, there is joy. There is peace, there is joy. So because, you know, most times when you are believing God for something, you know, when you happen and um, you, you are asking God, when is this going to be? The attitude he wants you to have when you are waiting is the attitude of joy and peace. Hallelujah. And you can't have that until you are bound in hope. By the power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm just going to pray and say, Heavenly Father, I am bound in hope. I am bound in hope by the power of your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. We're going to get back to verse 14, but right now, can you just lift your voice in tongues? Ikapa, looking at that scripture and say, Heavenly Father, I am bound in hope. Looking at that scripture and say, Lord, I am bound in hope. The God of hope fills me with all joy and peace. In the name of Jesus, I will not lose my joy. I will not lose my peace in the name of Jesus I am bound in hope by the power of the Holy Ghost are you praying in this place make sure your prayer is fervent this is not the time to look around this is not the time to look around this is not the time to look at a wristwatch this is a time to pray I have bound in hope I am bound in hope by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am filled with joy and peace in the name of Jesus. I am filled with joy and peace. I abound in hope. I abound in hope. I am unspeakable, full of glory. In the name of Jesus, it is with joy, we draw water. We draw water with the walls of joy. I will not lose my joy. I will not lose my joy. Yeshia Shariata. Eleke Rekete. Yeshi Rapata. Mele Prekete. Zile Prekete. Le Prokoto. Ziprekete. Come on, come on. Everywhere. Ile Prekete. Zile Prekete. E Rapata. The God of hope. Fuse me. The God of hope. Fuse me. Without joy and peace. In the name of Jesus. As I wait on the promise, I have joy and peace. As I wait for the manifestation of the promise, I have joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. Elekata. I abound. I abound. Oh, 
o procurador repete a terra e a terra é pete é girepete é panda capata repete é lopocopo é girepete repete é massa tacata e girepete que te é repete é papa 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 pa shukete yekete kete e pata kata rete o poto zopo koto e zeriada e pata kama 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 e sharia pata kata e le pata tata tata e poto soto koto e rekete e zipe kete repete e mana kata repete kete Yes, 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 yes. Oh, shepherd, take it. Now, may the God of me and peace. I leave. Meta, tata, tata, repete, zupokoto. Eshia nakapa. Melekata jelekete. Il le pekete repete jile menekata rapata tata ekata repete jile pekete ezupoto zelekata e patakata repete e jelia takata repete let your focus be on jesus come on let your focus be on jesus let your focus be on jesus let your focus be on jesus is here today you will never be the same again i can guarantee you ha <laughs> ha you will never be the same again e patata ta repete jile kete repete kete me kataka ta repa pa 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 me kata repete ye jile pete repete me kata rapa ka pa ka ta e poto zopokoto now the god of hope fuse me with all joy and peace in the name of jesus i am bound in hope by the power of the holy ghost e le kete jile pekete e patata ta zele pete katia repekete ne pekete ye jile pekete ye jile pete kete rapa ka ta e pata i am bound in hope i know there is a destination i know there is a glorious future in the name of jesus i will not give into despair <laughs> i will not give into despair i will not give into despair i will not give into despair in the name of jesus i am bound in hope by the power of the holy ghost libro koto jeprekete repete izele kete repete le bo mekata rapatata ta ye ji repete hia nakata li le le bo peto zo poto repete ye kete repete kete ye kata ta 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 le kete God is raising mighty men in this place. Come on, pray everywhere. <laughs> God is raising mighty men in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop till you look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till you look just like him. Matarekete shileba. God is raising generals once again. Ha ha ha. God is raising generals once again he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him i am bound by the power of the holy ghost e le te 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 repete le bo o sabata le ke te zile bete e patata ta le ke te e je re ke te re ke te le bre ke te e patata ta e zo po to po to e la bata le ke te repete e je repete le bre ke te e la kata kata ra ba 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 e man kata kata ra ba de le bo e shi bre ke te re ba Kokoto, e yata yata ta, a yata ta te te te, ele kata kata, e patato 
Zapato Zopotokoto Izepete Kete Ziprakata Marepete Kete Repetelebo Yepatakata Rapato Zepekete I am bound in hope Ekata Rapata Epato Zopoto In the name of Jesus Ilekete Zilaba Arepotokoto Zelekete Yezike Pekete Imananana Kata Repete Yeshikete Rebedele Prokoto Mesikete Rapapapapapa Yeshikete Rapakapakata Masopokoto Repete Ekata Zelekete Ezile Pekete Impato Zopoto Kote Kete Ezere Petele Pekatia Erapapapapa Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing Izete Ketia Adlakata Epato Zopoto I've got hope for a better tomorrow I've got hope for a better tomorrow In the name of Jesus This can't be all there is to read There is more There is more There is more There is more Yekata Zelekata There is more in God More in God More dimensions Yesete Kete Repata More vistas of His power Ilakapa More height of glory Ezile Pekete Zila Pakata Epata Zatata Zele Pekate Ile Pekate Repete Kata Isopoto Ramama Shakata Rana Kapa Papa Papa Bajekete Rekete Isopoto Zopoto Repete Elakata Zele Kate Yeshia Rakata Rekete Isopoto Koto Zopoto Holy Ghost, I abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Men always ought to pray. Ashariata Epato Zopokoto Zeleke Ila Tata Tata Tete Tete Ezopoko Pokoto Ila Katakata Repetate Ezebrata Tete Ezopokoto Rabababa Shakata Epato Zopokoto Ezile Brekate Repete Epratata Ropoto E prototo zuprekate Yeshia rapata leprekate E patatata repete leprekoto O vo 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 zuprekate repete lebe I anakata zelekete E je repete kete rada da 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 A pale kele ia la da dia E le moko ya nanana shelia E pato zopoto I am bound in hope I am bound in hope I am bound in hope in the name of Jesus I am bound in hope for hope is an anchor for the soul hope is an anchor for the soul I am bound in hope I am bound in hope in the name of Jesus no despair no degeneration no discouragement in the name of Jesus the Bible says of Abraham, whom against hope believed in hope. Ha <laughs> ha! kata shalia, e patata tata tata. Who against hope believed in hope? Imanakata zopokoto, e jeria tata pate repete, e zileke teleke tele bokoto, melia rapata tata repete, e jia rapata, e poto 
to 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 gile pregate e la ta 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 oh joy and peace oh joy and peace oh joy and peace oh joy and peace in the name of jesus the peace of god mounts god upon my heart the peace of god mounts god upon my heart the peace of god the peace of god in the name of jesus in the midst of the storm i have the peace of christ in the name of jesus in the midst of uncertainty i have the peace of christ in the name of jesus my mind is flooded with the peace of christ in the name of jesus i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice in la kata repete la bekete e gile bekete repete le bom o zo poto toto repete le ba e gia rata rekete yekete e patata ta zo poko to melekete kete repete yi patata ta Repatatato sopokoto, esiata lakata, eje repete repete, mesupakata repete, esiata mata repete, ilekete repete jila prakata, mekata rapa pa 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 pa, yeji le prakete, ize ke prakete repete la bakata, yeshia rapa ka pa ka ta. Makata robo to to jepekete e jiata le kato o zopoko to zile pekete i jekete rebedele pekatia masapakata Zile pekete zile prakato zopata kata zile katia I'm tired of the status quo, Shepatea. There's gonna be more than this. I'm tired of the status quo. There's gonna be more than this. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more than this. Desperate people do desperate things. We pressing in. We pressing in. We are pressing in Jesus. We pressing in. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more than this. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. There's gonna be more than this. You are the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of the Living God. Mashatele Adada. You are the Holy Ghost. The scepter. Haya pata rekete. Elekete. You're changing everything. You are lining everything. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Ikata rapapa shakata. Hallelujah. 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 Are you tired? There are ministry spirit here. Angels are ministry strength. Angels are ministry strength. So don't be bothered about getting tired. <laughs> Angels are here ministry strength. Romans chapter 15 and 14. The second leg of our prayers. Repata Shakia. Romans chapter 15 and 14. Are you there? Are you there? It doesn't seem like you're there. All right, just let's just say this confession before we go over there. Say, the God of all hope. Hey, come on, say the God of all hope. Fills me, Michael Damlala Lani, <laughs> with all joy and peace in believing. Hey, one more time, say the God of all hope. Fills me, Michael Damlala Lani, <laughs> with all joy and peace in believing. Even as I abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Say the Holy Ghost strengthens my emotions. I am not envious, depressed, impatient, guilt reading, or condemned. I saw high in the spirit with joy and peace. With joy and peace. Fed by the Holy Ghost. My response to situations 
defies logical reasoning. I am made to be above and stay above all things because I am from, because I'm from above. In the name of Jesus, I am above all things through Christ that gives me strength. Come on, can you rejoice in this place? Woo! Glory to God! Glory to Jesus! Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Romans 15, 14 Now I myself am confident concerning you. Oh Jesus! Are we there? It says, Now I myself am confident concerning you, my brethren. That you also are full of goodness. <laughs> Filled with all knowledge. Able to also admonish one another. Say, I'm full of goodness. I am full of goodness. Hallelujah. Everybody watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Look at this. Is this, is this full? Is this cup half full or half empty? That's my question. Is it half full or half empty? Half full or half empty? <laughs> half full or half empty? If it's half full, say I. <laughs> All right. This cup is filled. This cup is not half full, it's not half empty, it's full. The bottom part is filled with a visible substance called water, right? The top part is filled with an invisible substance called air. So this cup is full, 100%. So when God says you are full of goodness, sometimes you are looking at this part. You are looking at the part that you can see. You don't. There is a part you cannot see. Hebrews chapter eleven. Hebrews chapter eleven. Come on. Hebrews chapter eleven. Hebrews chapter eleven and twenty-seven. Let's see something. There is an invisible part, and that's what we want to invoke today. You are seeing too many things about yourself, but there's some other things you have to see, and you got to see with the eye of the invisible. Watch this. Hebrews eleven chapter twenty-seven. By faith, he forsook Egypt. Not fearing the wrath of the king. There's a certain level of resort you cannot command. If all you see is the visible, then you are limited. So when God says you are full of goodness, you are full of goodness. Whether you feel like it or not, you are full of goodness. You are full of goodness. So now myself, I'm confident concerning you, my brethren, that you also are full of goodness. Filled with all knowledge. Able also to admit one another. Can I just raise your voice in other tongues and begin to say, I'm full of goodness. I am filled with all knowledge. I know everything I need to know. Yes, by the eye of the invisible, I can see, I can see that I'm full. It doesn't matter what other people see. I know I am full of goodness because God's word says I'm full of goodness and I begin to exhibit goodness. Yes, I am filled with all knowledge. I am confident concerning this very thing that I'm full of goodness. I dispatch goodness in my word. Yes, I am full of goodness. I am full of goodness. With the eyes of my spirit, with the eyes of my spirit, I see, I know, in the name of Jesus, 
ejika pakata irana nakata i am full of goodness e patakata in all things in all things in all things in the name of jesus mesile kete repopopopo jipakata arama kata jekete elekoto jepekete izile kepe tata masombo tokoto e ya dada da jaria tata e petekete repete izo potokoto zo e patata repetekete izene nene kata rapa kata ala patakete i am full of goodness god's word say so and i believe it and i work in the reality of it i'm filled with knowledge in the name of jesus i go after knowledge the knowledge of the word of god yes zila kapakata the knowledge of all things needed for the fulfillment of life and destiny yes jire kete zile prekete e patakata jele kete come on are you praying e zila patata e zupo toko to bekete e jeria dada kata ya kata e patekete repete e zupo toso I am full of goodness filled with knowledge in the name of Jesus ikatata tashatia melekate zile prekate yejira data raba baba bakata mezo prokoto zopoto yilekete zile prekate makata kata repetele prekatia yejile prekate enakapakapa epoto zomana kata Ye ka pa 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 jelia tata mekoto sopoto jelia era kata jene keti ala ka pa kata marreketele ke prekete e so proto toto jile prekete in the name of jesus with my words with my thoughts with my actions with my results i'm full of goodness in the name of jesus in la kata tata in my environment to my nation to the continent of africa to the world to the body of christ i am full of goodness in the name of jesus yele kete kila kata shania melekoto zopokoto jelebatia enakata rabakata e jelia kata rabata mesuprokoto i am confident and i receive this confidence in the place of prayer yes you rekete you know these things in the place of prayer you can study it and not know it but in the place of prayer you get to know it it's god revelation knowledge ah yakata zelekete you've got to pray these things into manifestation elakata pato sopoto kotoje e je repete repete e patata sopokoto meshakata raba baba ba sopokoto iretete zile prekete e je pratakata marapakata je prekete e lakata zelebe i am filled with goodness my life is filled with goodness in the name of jesus Ina kapata zopoto jile prekete Ila kata zelekete jile prekete Mekata raba baba 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 Mosopokoto zuprekete Eje rekete zile prekete E raba baba taya Eje rekete repete laba I am full of goodness I am full of goodness I am filled with knowledge In the name of Jesus able to instruct others lekata jelia lalabatia epato zopoto my life is void of evil my life is void of evil i am full of goodness ekata jelia kata epato zodia izetete repetelia apato zopoto koto jelia taga ela kata reketele brekatila brekatia epato toto to jile brekate e zile prekatia malakata raba ba jele kete rebedia e poto zo poto zu prekate e jele kete rama mama 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 
Oh God, my Father. Full of goodness in the name of Jesus. Full of goodness. In a patata tata in a kapa papa. In mana koto zopoto koto. In jeretete zipekete. In jiata pata lepekete. In a nama mama kata. Hey, 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 Hallelujah. I think God will have us he will just just say that chant. It was a chant that just came by the spirit. Hallelujah. I don't know what that means. 
You say, everybody, You say, Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You want to laugh in this place? Come on. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Say these words after me. I'm about to leave here. Say, I, Michael Damilola Olani. I am full of goodness. Ooh. I am full of goodness. I show goodness and I give goodness. I show goodness and I give goodness. I am full of good. I possess no evil in me. I overcome evil with good every time, in every way. I carry the fullness of God in me in the name of jesus i do not run out of goodness <laughs> i do not run out of goodness when people remember me they remember goodness in the name of jesus for the bible says the memory of the just is blessed i feel great when i do good in the name of jesus i build great relationships doing good in the name of Jesus, having great impact, doing good. In the name of Jesus, one more time, you want to rejoice in this place. I am full of goodness. 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 Yes, Pata. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your hands all over this building. Lift your hands and just declare those words. Jepata Lepakata. Full of goodness. Ela kastu mandele koso ki andele bosa. Ikari ada da ba koso praga di andosa. Ikara da ba so fraki andele kosi ada. Ela kabaya la da ba sa pata asa patanta esa pete kasa ti e kosa ki andele kosi ya. Ela beri ada da kasa katosa ilo pregi elo soko parianda esa ki alo saha asa tele bosi ya. Ela kete la beri ada da kosa asa teka ala te paro so koto sa ele beria ga da kaso koto baria asa tala ba kosa ele brega di e koso pra ila kosia intela brega de ba kos e koria da da basa asita nda la ba a kosa ha ele brega di e kosianti e kosi ka pasa i koria ga da basa tia asa koto sa i karo so ko Barye asiate ale koso koria dosa in karia gada bala doso ele kelia dosi ante e koria doso koparia esetele ba asile parosa e kela de e koria dosa ta a koso paya i karu supendeleka i saki alosi ha e kosi kapasa in koria dosa pa asi karia dosa pa eseki e Karosu mantia, asi karaga dosa ha, asele de beriga dosi ha, in koroso pande, asolo pariga de kusa ha, in Korea da 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 de saki anda, asa pariga da balas, isakate sa, ele Korea da da basa ha, asele barosa ha, ento frege de kusa, ele Korea da dasa, asa taya bara bakasa, asa. Tababababakas asaka desa asaka talabakosi ha ekorian dosa pa elosa ha elega da baria gados ekoso frega de kosa asa da la baria gadasa hana asa da la baria gadabala dosa frega de ekosi da mantasa ekaros 
Sopariadosa. Thank you, precious Father. Amen. This morning, I'm going to be leading us to pray from Ephesians 1. Oh, thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1 from verse 17. I'm going to be reading from the message translation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 15, because message translation. That is why when I heard of your solid trust you have in the master Jesus and your outpouring of love to all the followers of Jesus, I couldn't stop thanking God for you every time I prayed. And I think of you and give thanks. But I do more than thanks. I ask that God, our master, Jesus Christ, the God of glory, will make you intelligent and discerning in knowing him personally. Your eyes focused and clear. Your eyes focused and clear. Your eyes focused and clear. In the name of Jesus. Let me just break this down to us a bit so that we have a bit of context as we pray. He says, I pray that the Lord will make you intelligent. Intelligence speaks about acquiring knowledge and applying it. Discerning here speaks about being able to pick God in every single um, area of your life, in your everyday life. Knowing him personally. Your eyes focused and clear. Your eyes focused and clear. Your eyes focused and clear. I just want us to lift up our voice this morning. And say, Father, make me intelligent and discerning in knowing you personally. Make me intelligent and discerning in knowing you personally. Every day of my life, every step that I take, make me intelligent. Make me discerning. Let me see you every day of my life. Let me see you in the little things of my life. Let me see you, God. Let me know you personally. Keep my eyes focused and clear in the name of Jesus e coriando sepa e coriadosa e la cosa and la brecchia si anto fregadas in caria gada basa cosa e la bregada bella dosa cosa alla tosa eyes focused and clear eyes focused and clear eyes focused and clear on the Lord Jesus Christ e cosa cara basa e se la baria gadesa e se ti anda la bacosa ante I celebrate a day Our gaze is on you Jesus Our focus is on you Jesus We're chasing after you We're knowing you In the name of Jesus Make us discerning Make us intelligent School us in your spirit Let us know what you're doing Jesus show us who you are Reveal us to Kabasia Elebrega de Beladosia E Karagadosa E Sabaria Gade E Sekatosa Elebrega de Andakasa in the name of Jesus, private encounters. E Korea da da basa ha asa thala bakas asa le barie ga da baladosh. E kara ga da basa ante asa le barie ga dosh. E korosa hande le ba asa da le bara ga dosh asa kataya asa balade. I know you, God, personally, every step of the way. In the name. Name of Jesus, I saw for Ilos, Elokorogodo, so fregades, Esada la barie casetelebosa. My eyes are focused on you. Keso frekiando salaba, Asada la bagadasa, Esada la barie gade, Asabala do so copa, Isa fregade caro so cotoso, Esabaga de cariagado. We look unto Jesus, Ecosiato farianda. Asa de la varia gade, asa kata basa panta, asa lia da varia da da basa kuria, asa la varia gade, eyes focused and clear. In the name of Jesus, we will not be distracted. Asa kiele les, asa bara 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 osianta, asa balade ekosianda, asa barega de sakata, asa bara gada kas, asa bada bala dosa, asa katela. I say, Karianda da bas. I say, Baba baga da bas. I say, Dale bara gadosa. My eyes are focused and clear in the name of Jesus. I say, Dale bara gadosa. I call so Karianda. I say, Dale gada 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 gas. I say, Baba baba gada gas. I say, da 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 gas. I say, Karianda so Karianda. I say, Bara kesa. I say, Bala da bas. I call ya. Asa paria, asa baria gada baladosh. Eko 
Oso pregedesa Asa balatias Asa pakes Asa baladet In the name of Jesus Scales are falling Eyes focus and clear In the name of Jesus Asa baladet Ako sopa We will not be distracted We are so pariyanda Asa balade balagados Asa beregede karagabakas Asa katakas Asa bariyakates Asa baragadakas Asa katias Asa katias Asa bariyakadakos Eko rabasso pande Elege de kos yanda Eko so paragados Eko so frege de kos Asa baladakus hande Asa bariyakados Ko baraga Asa baladabariyakadabas Asa bagade Eko so hande Asa baragadakayaladabas Asa bariyakadias Ko barias Asa karabah Asa baragadabas Antaya Asa la bariyakades Korianda Asa bariyaga da balado so poria eyes focused and clear. Asa korianda basa. Asa balada basa. Eko so kaya. Ela bariyaga do so ha. En korianda da basa. Asa bariyaga de. We see clearly. We know how to pursue you in the name of Jesus. En korianda so parianda. Asa bariyaga de. Asa ko baraba. Asa ba 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 kasa. Asa ba 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 ba. We know Kosa Paria, Ele Kerriega de Kosia, Asa Balado Socoraba, Ele Berriega de Kos, Isso Pariedes, E Korea de Kosa, Esa Paria da Bossapa, Asa Pele, Asa Pariega de Kosia, E Korea da Bossa, E Korogodo Sofregade, E Korea do Sakaba, Asi Katas, Ele Bregade, E Korea da Bossa. We are intelligent and discerning in knowing you, Lord Jesus. E Korea da 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 sa, e kaya so paria, e ye le le lo so ko paria ganes, e ye le 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 lo so Korea, asera para ganos, e le kaya la paria ganes, e le paria ganes. School me your intelligence, Lord Jesus. I will know you. I will follow you. Keep my eyes focused. Keep my eyes clear. Esso Korea da bas. Esse Korea da dela bas. Esse Praga da Korea da desso. E Korea da da bas. Saka da bas. Ele Praga do so Korea. Ele Korea da de. E Korsi kanda la bas. Ele Korsi Korea da. Ele Praga da bela dos. E Korea da da bas. E Korsi ha. Ele Praga de Korsi. E Korea da da baya kas. Ele Korea da des. E Korsi baya. School us in the intelligence of knowing you. We know you. We see you. We see your hand. We follow you. Keep our eyes focused and clear. In the name of Jesus, I declare eyes focus and clear. In the name of Jesus, eyes focus and clear. In the name of Jesus, eyes focus and clear. In the name of Jesus, scales are falling off. Echo Samarianda, we must do you, Lord Jesus. Echo Sahanda, we know you. We cast Samarianda, and every aso, Echo Sahelosa, and every gada gada kosa. School us, school us, school us in your intelligence. Make us intelligent. Make us discerning to know you, God, personally for ourselves. We experience you. We know you. Private encounters. E kaya gada balados. E kaya la varia gades. E saparos. E levaros komaras. E koria gada bossa kande. E le prege de kosa. E le paria da dasa. E kaya la varie kesa. E kosi atopa. In the name of Jesus, we are schooled in the intelligence of knowing the Lord Jesus personally. In the name of Jesus, our eyes are focused and clear. In the name of Jesus, we look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We will not be entangled. We will not be distracted. Sakiana da 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 sa, e kora ba sa Maria da da sa, e karia da 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 ba sa, e kaya la Maria da da sa, e kara ba ko sa para, e le kere da da sa, e kaya la ba sa Maria da da sa.
Jesus. Ikoria da da bosh. Ele prega de kosh. Ele prega de kosh. Itolo bashe kera bash. Ina baria da da bash. Ele kosho prega desh. Iyo koria da da bash. Ele prega de kosh. Ele prega de kosh. Ele kaya la bash. Ele prega de kosh. In the name of Jesus. Ikaya bala bosh. Ele prega de kosh. Ekaya la baria da dosh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm going to need us to keep praying with that same scripture in another translation. The Passion Translation says, I pray that the Father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, will impart to you the riches of the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation i want to lift up your voice and declare father impart unto me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the name of jesus to know you the spirit of wisdom and revelation to follow you the spirit of wisdom and revelation to chase after you jesus i ask for the spirit of wisdom and revelation wisdom give access Bariandes, Ikaria Gada Balados, Ekaria Gada Balados, Ekoria de Cosaha, Ele Cosida Bacosaha, Ele Brega de Cosoco, Ele Brega de Cosian de la Bossa, Esakian de la Cosaha, Ele Brega de Cosianda, Ele Brega dosi Coriandosa, Ele Brega de Cosacanda Laba. Amen. Let me explain why you need the spirit of wisdom and revelation. So that you know all that he has called you to do. Verse 18 says, I pray that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination. Flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling. Remember we have prayed we are abounding in hope. The full revelation of the hope of his calling that is the wealth of his glorious inheritance that he finds in us the holy one it is through the wish the spirit of wisdom and revelation that we start to unravel unveil the things that the lord has prepared for us we have inheritance in god things are settled for us we've been blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places but the spirit of wisdom and revelation breaks it down to us wisdom revelation light hits your spirit so i want us to pray for the next couple of minutes just saying father as i yield myself to the workings of the spirit of wisdom and revelation open my eyes open my eyes and i want you to keep your gaze on the lord jesus because he will flood your eyes with a revelation of who you really are you will see yourself the way the lord sees you today pay attention to what you're seeing in the spirit as you pray this morning in Karie do Sokobarianda, E Karie da Sukapa, E Sikatosa, E Karie de Kurian do Sukaba, In Korea da Dabase, E Korea de Kusi, E Lo Korea do Sukaba, In Korea do Sokodia dosa, Light Karu Sukapa, E Karie de Seko, E Le Brege de Kiano Sakianda, E Kosi Balatisha, E Kosa Pianda, E Karia Gadesha, Ele Brege de Kosa Kosa, Ele Brege de Ekosina Mantesha, the spirit of wisdom and revelation is at work in us, Ekayana Brege de Kosa, light is breaking forth, Ashida Bakasha, we see ourselves the way the Lord sees us, Esokoria Gadosha, and we step into our inheritance in God, in the name of Jesus, Esifragadesha, Asabaria. Gadabasha, 
Ramos, Esha Maria Gadesh, let life flood my heart, let your life flood my heart, let your life flood my heart, Lord Jesus, Eko Sakayala, Asha Maria Dasha, Esha Gada Gada Kasha, Asha Paya, Esha Bala Debosha, Asha Bayala Katasha, Asha Malade, Asha Bragade, light in my mind, I will not walk in darkness, I will not walk in foolishness in the name of Jesus I receive light in my mind creative light my mind is a habitat of the Lord Jesus Christ Declare light over your mind. Light cause paria. Asha bela de cosa. Ele brega de bela dosa. Isha kiando cosa. Ilo koto koto se palati. Asha gada bela dosa. Eka ya la baria gadas. Ika rusu panira ma. Light. Asha brega de. Asha koria de ba. Every time you see the word of God, light hits your spirit man, and you see who you are. In the name of Jesus, you no longer believe the lie of the enemy. I declare light in the name of Jesus. Let light invade your heart. I say, Ko barasa, ele brega de kosia, ele brega de kaya la da basa, ya da da bala da basa panda. I say, kati la baraga des, e koria da da bala da basa, e se bala de kosia. E Korea da da bas, a seka tele barie gade, a so Korea dos, e le brega di ala sukaye, a le Korea da basati, a sa ba ya la barie gade, a se bela de, la kosi e le Korea, a se barie gade, a se Korea ba 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 ba, la kate kayosa, in Korea da bakosa, light kayosa. We declare, let there be light. As so Korea da basa, let light invade our hearts. Asi kaya la basa, pulling down strong identity. Asa bala da basa, let light invade our hearts. We see ourselves the way the Lord Jesus Christ sees us. Eko sa bala basa, we are one with His calling in the name of Jesus. Light. Asa Korea da da basa, illuminate. A shabaya kata, a shabara gados, a shabala da bakos, a koria da da bos, a shabala da baria gades, a kos, a le prega de kos, a shabala da bos. Wow, thank you, Lord Jesus. A kos of prega des, a shibaria da da bos, a shabala da bos, a koria da da bos. Ekosi anto fregade, ikoria da bas, ekoso kotos, ekoria da bas, esi prados, ekoso fregade. I pray for new eyes all over this room. Ekosi fregi asa, esi fregade kosa, ele fregade kosa, ikaria dosa, ekaria dosa, asi kaya la baki asa, esi fregade, ekosi anto sa, esi fregade. Dia a cosa pa a sicaria dosa a se bela de baragade e con su caia a se braga de cos a se baragade a con su coparia illuminated mind e su coton sapa a se la baraga dos sha ke ne basa a ke ne lo so ko ba wow thank you Lord Jesus e ka ya la basa a se ke te la bela gades a se bela de Bosa, Asha Kataya, Asha Bala Gadesh, Asha Bala de Bala Kosh, Asha Baria Gadash, Asha Bala de Bash, Asha Kaya, Asha Leba, Asha Katosh, Ele Brega de Kosh, Asha Katom Brekiyash, Ekiyash Kati, Ekosi Kante, Ekosi Kante, Ekosha Ha, Ikarusha Pa, Ekosha Ati, Ekosi Antaba, Ekosha Alabasha, Ikariyesh. Ekonda basa, ekshakatiasa, ekon 
Shapa, Asha Bella de Basha, Asha Baba de Basha, Asha Cates, A Sacate, Asha de Bacas, Echo Sacotosa, Asha Bella de Bosha. Open the eyes of our spirit, open the eyes of our mind. Let there be light, let there be light. Flood our hearts with light. In the name of Jesus, we know the hope of your calling for our lives. In the name of Jesus, we will not walk in darkness. We see what you say about us and we go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Echo so parias. Echo so prega de cos. Icaria da da basapa. A sacatias. A sacatias. A sacatias. A sacatias. A sabella de bocos. Ilo cosiantes. Ela brega dias. Ecaia la baria gadas. A sabella de cos. Ecaia la da bas. A sabaria gades. Woo, sakiandes. Ela brega de open the eyes of our hearts. Ecaria dos. We know the hope of your calling and we would experience it in the name of Jesus. We will not be lost. Ikaro seke pas, ikaria da bas, eseka tios, ele brega de kas, ikarias, ele brega de kos. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo, shikabala dosia. This is so refreshing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you one reason why you should never stop praying this prayer. Thank you, Lord. There is a calling for every believer to be sons of God, to be kingdom ambassadors. And scripture says that every time you pray this prayer, the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination. Why? So that you can see exactly as God sees you. So that you can see exactly as God sees you. So that you can see. Why, why is it not so that you can hear? Because once it can enter into your, into your eyes, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. And then when God, if you remember when God told Abraham to go, he said, look as far as your eyes can see. There is no impossibility for us as believers. And the Lord has reserved for us his inheritance. It is for you. So the more you pray this prayer, Father, let your, let your light illuminate my mind. You start to see yourself differently. When you encounter scripture, you see yourself in scripture. The light opens up and you're like, this is me. And then you run with that understanding of the calling of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare in the name of Jesus and I agree with everyone in this room that we have illuminated minds. In the name of Jesus, our, our heart illuminated with light. In the name of Jesus, light 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 in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want us to pay attention to 
what we see going forward because the Lord is going to start invading your eyes with light. So pay attention. Watch what you're seeing. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Every time you encounter scripture, the word hits you. That's light. That's light. That's light. That's light. It starts to show you the wrong things you have about the wrong mindset. It starts to x-ray them. You start to see this is not me. I do not accept what people say about me. I do not follow status quo. But I believe God's word. And I go for the calling that he has called me. And I am a full partaker of the inheritance of the Lord. Of the things that God has given to us. In the name of Jesus. The inheritance is for you. It's for you. It's for you. As you experience life. I feel like. As we prayed, what came to my mind was when you enter into a room and you start to, um, you know how you have x-rays, like different, okay, good are not science, you might not understand, but um, x-ray looks beyond your body. It looks right into your cell, the molecules. So as the light of God hits you, you start to see the nitty gritty, the, the, the wiring, the details of your life that starts to determine how you respond and react to what the Lord has put inside of you. Light will dawn on our hearts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to be leading us to pray all the way from verse 19. I don't know if I can pray all of it, but I want us to continue to pray. So I would, I would, you know, before I read this scripture, I would give this illustration that I think is one of the most interesting things that the Holy Spirit opened up to me. I call it the V analogy. So it's like, uh, you know, like when it's like a tick. Jesus Christ went to the cross. He bore on the cross your sin, your shame, your sickness, your disease. And he went to the grave. He conquered hell. He took the keys of life and death in his hands. And then he rose unto heaven. Seated at the right hand, of, at the right hand side of the Father in the place of authority. In the place of authority. So let me read the scripture to you and then I'll tie both together. Paul was praying for the church here in verse 19. He says, I pray that you will continue, you will continually experience the measurable greatness of God's power made available to you through faith. That your life will be an advertisement of the immense power as he walks through you. This is the mighty power that released that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of highest honor and supreme authority in the heavenly places. Now he's seated as first above every rule, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. He's gloriously enthroned over every name that is ever praised, not in this age alone, but in the age to come. He alone is the leader and source of everything needed in the church. God has put everything beneath the authority of Jesus Christ and has given him the highest ranking above all. And now we, his church, are his body on the earth and that which... And that which fills him who is being filled by it. Okay, so I'm sure when you go back, you go back and read the scripture. But I want us to focus to pray with verse 19. Hallelujah. Verse 19 and 20. It says, I pray that you continually experience the measurable greatness of God's power made available to you. The measurable greatness of God's power made available to you. That your lives will be an advertisement of his immense power as he walks through you. That same power is the same power that rose Christ from the dead and exalted him above all in the place of authority, power, presence, and power, might, and dominion. Let me tell you what that means. It means that the same power that rose Christ from the dead is at work in you. What does that mean? If Death could not hold, if hell could not hold Jesus down, absolutely nothing can hold you down. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. It means that your situation, the things you're going through, whatever it is, nothing can hold you down. So I want us to just imagine the immense power. This is resurrection power. What that means is that everything that seemed like is going down and hasn't gone well, it means that once resurrection power comes into play, the, 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 the reverse happens. It's a lifting. It's an upward trajectory because when resurrection power happened to Jesus, he went up to stay in the place of authority where he's constantly making intercessions for us as believers. So I want us to pray, Father, I ask 
that you con I will continually experience the immeasurable greatness of your power. Immeasurable greatness of your power in my life, in my family. Because of resurrection power, I will never be held down. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is at work in me. Resurrection power is at work in me. Nothing can be dead inside of me. My mind is not dead. My body is not dead. My family is not dead. No situation is dead because resurrection power is at work in us. In the name of Jesus, we experience the measurable greatness of his power, his power power rosing from the dead and put him in the highest place of authority in the name of Jesus we declare by the resurrection power we are experiencing life in the name of Jesus upward trajectory in the name of Jesus by resurrection power we are experiencing restoration in the name of Jesus everything that has been lost has come back in the name of Jesus by resurrection power sickness is banished by resurrection power addiction is broken by resurrection power nothing can stop us we are unstoppable in the name of Jesus death has no hold on us in the name of Jesus death has no hold on us in the name of Jesus death has no hold on us death has no hold on us in the name of Jesus we are not dead in our minds resurrection power flows through every part of our being our minds our body our souls in the name of Jesus Ekaya separia Resurrection power is at work in me in the name of Jesus. Declare resurrection power is at work in my family. Resurrection power is at work in my community. Resurrection power is at work in my local assembly. Resurrection power is at work in my mind. Resurrection power is at work in my soul. Resurrection power is at work in my body. In the name of Jesus, I can never be sick. The power of God is at work in me. I experience the full measure of his power. Nothing can be dead in my Oh, 
No boundaries, no limits. You would experience the power of God. Dry bones rise again. Destinies awakened. Creative power is quickened in the name of Jesus. There is a quickening of the mind in the name of Jesus. The power of God is a work in us. The same power that raises us from the grave is a work in us. Amen. Amen. Wow. So, the same power that raises us from the dead, the same power is at work, is at work in me, is at work in you. The same measure of power. Not the downgraded version, the same mention of the Holy Spirit at work in every one of us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> wow. You know, we, 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 we are traveling and we are praying. And you know, as soon as Zion travels, she, she gave birth to a, to a man child. So today we are still traveling. And uh, I want us to look at the scripture as we continue praying. 
Now, Pastor Dave was sharing, Pastor Dave was sharing this very powerful thing. She said that our eyes may see, and we see ourselves the same way God sees us. So powerful. Can we put to Ephesians chapter 3? Ephesians 3. So we'll be reading verse 14, the very end. But before then, I want us to read Ephesians 3 verse 10. Very powerful. NLT. I think I like NLT. Ephesians 3 verse 10. Now it says, God's purpose in all this was to use the church to display his wisdom in its rich variety to all the unseen rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. Now, I don't know. God is saying that his ultimate plan, eternal plan has always been that when rulers in every place want to see how so great the power of God is, they'll be like, don't look for that, just look to my church. The way God is seeing you is that God is seeing that you are the representation of the fullness of my power. When they want to see how so rich my wisdom is, it does not, it does not open the scripture for them that we open the Bible. It does not like, okay, now let me try to tell you a God does not talk too much. He's not a talkative. He's just like, look, look at my church. So when you see them, then you understand the fullness of my wisdom, of my power. It's the way God sees us. You might be walking on the street of Yaba and just see yourself that I'm broke, I don't have much. God is not seeing that. God is seeing the fullness of his wisdom and of his power. And you know, we are, we are praying. We are praying in line with that, very powerful. When you go to verse 14, Let's start from verse 14. Paul now said, Paul was speaking here, he said, when I think of all this, now we'll be the contest. So when I think of how God sees us as a church, when I think of God seeing me as a representation of his fullness of wisdom and power, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father. Verse 15. And look at this. The creator of of everything in heaven on earth. Let's move on. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. There is a burden of responsibility on myself and you. And God is empowering us because how will you represent God in his entirety without having an inner feeling of the spirit of God? Imagine if your boss at work tells you that, I'm counting on you. All my hope is on you. You know the way you feel? You begin to work all night, all day, right? But God does not just speak that. God is supplying the resources unto us. And that's what we are praying for now. Now when you go to the next one, next verse, now, this is it. <laughs> that then Christ will make his home in your heart as you trust in him and your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. The mechanism by which God keeps us strong is by his love. Now, let's do the next verse, then we'll come back here. And you may understand, you may have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, how deep his love is. Now, when you begin to understand the fullness of the love of God, you're understanding God in his fullness. People don't, when you want to see God, they look to you as the church. But what do they see? They see the fullness of the love of God. Now, you know that's not why the Bible is saying that the love of God is shed abroad in our heart. By the Holy Spirit, the same inheritance we mentioned has been given unto us. And it shares the blood of God, the love of God in our heart by the Spirit of God. Go to the next verse. We will pray. We are going, we will go on a stretch. We just pray. Now, may you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete. Look at the word. You will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. So when we understand the love of God, then we come into the fullness of the power and of the wisdom and of the might of God. So when God said that, look at my church, understand my wisdom, then what they see in us is that they see the love of God springing forth in our hearts. So we are praying this morning, and we just say that God, your love springs forth in our hearts. We understand the fullness of the love of God. So when people touch us, they see this fullness of the love of God. That's what we are saying. We say that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Spirit of God. Lord, we understand the fullness of your love. We understand the fullness of your love. We understand the fullness of your love. Rabada kata kata 
Shi Bada 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 Mandeso Pradesco Prabadeso Mahase Prabato Shi Bada 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 Our eyes understand God Our heart understand the fullness of your love Rikata Kato Shi Bada Kate Kate Bada 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 Rekete Kate 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 Barabeto Shi Bada 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 Your love like a river flows in our heart Mandeso Prabato Shi Bada 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 Irado Shi Bada Bada Kata Mahandeka so prevede prevede praviasco, irra basco prevede bele vossi bala basta, irra dosa pa 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 we understand God how high, how deep, how wide, how broad your love is. We understand together with the same how broad your love is. Man, take a toshi, bada 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 Oh, Shabbat, get 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 il ratosha pa te kato masse prevede ba la hasse pa moza il rapauska prevedeso prevedisa la hasso pa te kato shi pa da ba da ba da ba ma hasso prevede ba da ba awa hat ko awa hat understand your love how deep your love we understand ma hasso pa te 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 kato ba shi pa da ba da ba il ratosha prevede kato shi prevede ba da ba da ba raba da kata kata ba prevede ba manda kato prevede kate kate ba 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 Aradosha banda kata brave de ba ba, rebete kete kete katos. Aradosha brave de kato brave ni aska, ni na toshi banda banda kata kata ba. Mahaza brave de kete brave de ba ba, rete te 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 ba. Rekato shi banda banda ba ba, rebete kata brave de ba ba ba, rebete kete kato shi banda banda ba ba, rebete so brave de ba aska, mandi so brave de isa. Aradosha banda 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 ba ba, rebete kata. Sopete pete pete ba, indo sha pante sha pala da bosa, raba de kato shi pada pada ba ba, re de 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 bosi pada 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 bosa, re kato shi pada 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 ba, mande so prevede, ira do shi pada 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 ba, mande so prevede pete pete pada ba, re kata pada 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 ba, indo sha pada kata pada 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 ba, we understand ko, how deep your love is, we come to understand it of your love ko. We come into understanding of your love. We come into understanding of your love. We experience your love. We come into understanding of your love. Mande kato breve de 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 de. Rakata kata kata bashi bada 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 bada. Vindo sha ba 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 ba. Erre kete 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 bada bada bada. Rata de 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 ba. Rakata kata kato bara bada bada. Mande so breve de 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 bosa. Mina do sha ba ba ba. Rabada kata 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 ba. Rabba sopra linda katosi, e rosa breve de que te bossi bala bala bala. Rabba da kata bashi da breve de bala bala. Re de 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 bala. We come with understanding of your love, God. We come with understanding of your love. We come with understanding of your love. Hey, hey man. Now you know something, brethren. We are still praying. Now, God is love. We understand that, right? And I want I want us to pray wholeheartedly. Now, when we say God is love, very powerful. Love of God is something that we must all experience personally. Like it must be experiential. So, and what I want us to pray for is, see, 
The Bible is saying that the ultimate plan of God is that when they look into you, when they look into me, that they can understand the richness of the fullness of mercy, of wisdom of God. Fine. And Paul is saying that how they will get to know these things, they will see us, that they will see this love of God so powerful. Power is easy to dispense from the standpoint. It's very, very easy. The problem is not even power at all. The problem is not even like we are doing miracles. The, the, the point is this. When there's this deep love in us, it's easy for power of God to come out. Remember? Sorry in the Bible, whereby Jesus, he wanted to enter a village. And they were like, they did not allow him to enter. He said, said, let us call fire from heaven. He did not argue that we can't call fire. He said, you don't know the kind of spirit that you are. It's a spirit of love. So the point is the love. It's not about the power. So it's the love. And one thing, see, we'll be praying for is that we all come to experience the love of God. Personally. More than we read it that God is love, then we love God. More More than we profess it. That love of God will consume us like a fire. That love of God will consume our hearts. It will consume our hearts. Our hearts be consumed by the love of God. That's what we are praying, Father. That our heart is consumed by your love. Your spirit shares your love in our, in our heart. And our heart is consumed by your love. Rato Shabbat Ketosa. Rato Shabbat Ketosa. Mandis of Rebadis of Rebadis of Ketosa. Makes of Rades of Rabadina Mos in the Manamaska. Ekata Kata Boshi Bada 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 Lord, your love, God, consumes our hearts. Our spirit is filled of your love. People touch us, they see your love oozing out of us, God. They see your love oozing out of us, God. Like a river, your love falls out of our heart. Mandays of Ketosa. Mandays of Ketosa. Mandays of Badabadaba. We are established in love. Mandays of Badabadaba. We take our shoes down in love. Mazobre kete 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 ba. Irabato shi ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. We take our shoes down in love. Rabade sobre kete ba da bozo. Irado shi ba da ba da ba da ba ba. Irre kete kete shi ba da ba. Mande sobre kete kete shi na mande. Irado shi ba ba deska. Mahasko bande. Irado shi ba da kata baska. Rabada kata ba da ba da ba da ba. Irre kete 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 ba da ba. Rabato se kete ba ba lina masi. Your love consume our heart, your love for your people, your love for our house, your love for your house God. consumes our heart. We receive strength by your love, God. We receive inner strength by your love to stand, to stand and declare. Mahasco Mandays of Rabada, 
Amen. Amen. Now we will pray. We will pray that the love of God will fill our hearts. Now we will pray this other dimension that the love of the brethren will consume our hearts. The Bible is saying that by this all men will know that you are my disciples. When when you have this love one another. And God is saying that they will see the church then they will understand my wisdom. No, I'm trying to reference it back there because that's the eternal purpose of God. And the church is his mechanism for demonstrating who he is. So, and if that's the case, God is giving us a very vital tool. That the tool is that they will know that you follow me, you are my disciples, when you love one another. So we pray in that, Father, that the love of your house, the love of the brethren, will consume our hearts. That we are filled with the love for the disciples, for the brethren. We are filled with love for one another. That the love of God consumes our hearts. And when people see us, they see this love and they know that indeed this one, they've touched God. Lord, we pray, Father, that the love for brethren consumes our hearts, God. The love for one another fills our heart. It fills on our heart. It fills us, God. Monday, Rabba da 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 da
like a river. Your Lord pours us in our heart like a river. Your Lord pours us in our heart like a river. Your Lord pours us in our heart. Rabada kata kato shiba baba baba. Indo sha brave de ask. Mina no sha bande ke brave si. Arabato shiba baba baba. Ande kato shiba baba baba baba. Rabada kato shiba baba baba. Ira de 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 de. Isha bada 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 baba. Araga da bada 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 baba. Erma do 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 da ke da ke da ke da baska. Manda so brave de ko si brave na baba. Mina no shi bada bada baba. Rabe de ke da ko si la brave de. Ena na na na. Moshi bada bada bada, arabada kata bada bada bada, ena moshi bada 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 bada, arabada kata bada kata baska. Manda kada kada bashi ba 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 ba, isha ba 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 ba, isha ba 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 ba. Raka te ke te ke to sabre ba ba, rada sko preve to no manda katoska, rade sko banda katoska, mande so preve deza, lake to si ba da ba da ba, mande ke to si preve da ba ba, raba da 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 ba, raka ta kata ba raba da ba, mande ke to si preve de ba sko mande, irada to si ba. Bada bada bada, here da 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 bo shi bada 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 bada. Man days of brava do shi bada bada bada. Mira do shi bada 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 bada. Rebeda kata kata bada bada bada. Rabada kata kata bada bada bada. Rabada kata bada bada bada. Amba so brava de bada bada bada. Rebeda kata kata bada bada bada. Isha ba 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 bada bada. Rabada bada 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 bada. Rabada kata bada 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 bada. Ante kata bo so brava de basi. Rado so bande. Rababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
our generation, everybody must portray this love of God. We must portray this love of God. And we're praying that God will furnish our heart, that we'll grow deep in the love of God. That our roots will extend deep. You know, when you are building, you are building on the foundation. Our foundation will be the love of God. That the love of God will be our base. And that we'll grow deep. Our roots will extend deep in this love of God. That's when we change our world. That's when we change our generation. They see the love and they're like, no, this is what they've touched God. That Lord, our, our roots grow deep even in you. Our roots grow deep in your love. It grows deep in your love. And our generation are compelled for the Lord by the love of God. We experience your love, God, and our root grows deep in your love. Our root grows deep, 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 deep. Deep in your love, Makata Kata Bada Bada Bada. Your love forms our base. It forms our base. It forms our base. It forms our base. Makata Kata Bashi Bada Bada Bada. Rabada Kato Prabada Bada Bada. Rede de 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 it punishes God. It falls on your love, God. We understand together with the same. The death, the eye, the weed, the breath of your love. Man, they call Shabbat, they get all Shabbat, they get us. Arredou Shabbat, they get Shabbat, they get us. We grow deep in your love, God. Our root extends deep. Our generation knows your love. Our generation knows your love. Our generation knows your love. Our generation sees 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 your love, God. They see your love, your love, God. Over our generation. And our generation sees your love, God. Your love over us, God. It washed over our generation. And all Shabbat I comprehend with all the saints what is the love, the depth, the, the, the height, the depth, the breast, the width of the love of God in the name of Jesus. I press in deep into God's love in the name of Jesus. I press in deep, deep, deeper in the name of Jesus. I press into the depths of his love. I press into the heights of his love. How far I will go? Mandele Breged Ocean. How far I will go? Mandele Korata Handele Bosha. For my brothers, for my sisters. In the name of Jesus. Mandeke Roboska Tande. I am the staple child of God's love. In the name of Jesus. Mande Kara Helegeros. In Endalata Endele Hatala Breged Ocean. Rege sekende hataya ribre konande te antas inendele hatu vebre hende la brege dosha manche anta le brege dosha a makambala bahela gere anta eke le brege dosha manda le brege dosha I know the love of God 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh, Maraca Bala Bregados, a Kenin de 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 Rebaco Seta e Cananas. He make a Baragada Lebregados, 
Jesus, I am strengthened to show forth God's love. Oh, man, they bring it ocean. Man, they let it bring it ocean. Man, they let Caragalabas. Mokorabadalabosha. Man, they let Brogosha. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, for your love. That just in the same way you laid your life down for the world, that we also ought to lay ourselves down for our brethren. In the name of Jesus, man de le we receive strength. We receive strength. We receive strength to love. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow, we are, we, are, we are generating a lot of spiritual capital here today. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, while we were praying, I just kept hearing in my spirit, you know, that if you're here and you're wondering why we are praying for intangibles, like, you are just praying. You're not praying for car, you're not praying for house, you know, you're not praying for all these things. And I believe what the Holy Spirit said to tell you is that you come from a realm of origins and you live in a realm of response so we're not praying for responses we are originating you know Ibu says that by faith we understand that the things that exist are were made from the things that do not exist so we are pressing into where we come from we are here we are from heaven so we are pressing into origins and as we pray the earth we yield for it's increased. The earth always responds. The earth never originates. It always responds. But if you don't have anything you're originating that the earth will respond to, the earth will not yield to you. And that's why Pastor Dami said that if you don't have capacity, that nobody will answer you. The earth always responds. Never forget that. And so that's why you will continue to pray in the spirit. That's why you continue to pray the word of God. You will not pray for chairs, you will not pray for phones. Those things will respond. They would catch up in the name of Jesus. I am so rich in the spirit right now. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. I'm full. I'm full. So we are going to Colosse. We are, we are traveling. We've gone to Romans. You know, we've gone to Romans. Okay, we stayed in Romans. We've gone to Ephesians. And now we are going to Colossians. And one of the things we, 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 we see in the church of Colosse is that you know, church, Paul did not found that church, right? It was, I think it was Epaphras that founded the church. And they had, you know, Epaphras had taught the gospel. But somehow, some people came to the Colossian church and they wanted to start using, they wanted to start mixing other things with the gospel. And Paul says, guys, don't, don't mix. Don't mix things with the gospel. Don't mix legalism. Don't mix, you know, angel worship. Don't mix anything with the gospel. The gospel is enough. It's sufficient. So we're going to start reading from verse 1 as we go ahead to pray. Our prayer text is 9, um, Colossians 1, 9 to 14. But I just want us to start reading from verse 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful believers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we pray always. I'm, I'm reading Colossians, Colossians right? Okay, okay, as we pray always, because of, because of the, the hope which is reserved and waiting for you in heaven. You previously heard of this hope in the message of truth, the gospel, which 
has come to you indeed just as in the whole world the gospel is constantly bearing fruit and spreading so paul was trying to tell them see the gospel that they delivered to you is not missing he has efficacy and that efficacy is being reviewed across all the world so, so don't think that you guys are missing out it's that same gospel that is being shared across the world and is yielding false results hallelujah sorry i'm using amplified i to put a lot of things in brackets so i'm just trying to look for where i am where i am okay just as in the whole world the gospel is constantly bearing fruit and spreading just as it has been doing among you ever since the day you first heard it. So the gospel is at work within us and understood the grace of God and truth. You learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow bond servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf, and he has told us of your love in the Holy Spirit. He now says, for this reason, since the day we heard about it, since the day we heard that you have received the gospel of Christ, he says that we have not stopped praying for you asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and in understanding the amplified says that you may be filled with knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and he says that spiritual wisdom means that you have insights into all god's purposes and he says that and in understanding so you understand spiritual things and then then he says that so that you can walk that the only reason why you would start to walk is when you have the knowledge of God. On one hand, you have spiritual wisdom. You have insight into God's purposes. You have insight into his internal purpose. You have insight into the pur his purpose for the church. You have insight into the purpose, his purpose for your life. And it says you don't just have spiritual insight. He says you have understanding that is able to distill that insight that you're receiving into, quote and unquote, your mundane experiences. So understanding is that faculty that will connect the spiritual great wisdom that you are receiving into how you begin to walk on the earth what actual decisions that you actually begin to take and so we are going to be praying this morning with that understanding that i am filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so i have insight into all god's purposes i know what he's doing with the church i know what he's doing in the world i know what he's doing with my life and i have understanding i have been blessed with the faculty of understanding so that i am able to distill everything every purpose of god into my everyday walk into the decisions i'm making into the things i'm saying into the things i'm doing into the places i'm going into the people i'm calling in the name of jesus i am able i have wisdom i have understanding in the name of jesus I have been filled with the knowledge of his will in the name of Jesus. Mande Karonde, Mande Le Bregedosha, Manda Le Bregedosha, Ileke Le Bregede, Manda La Bregedosha, Rike Sekete Yege Le Bosham. I am filled in the name of Jesus. I am filled, I am filled with the knowledge of God's will. I know what God wants to do. Mande Le Bregedosha, Mante Yeke Le Bregedosha. I know what God wants to do in the name of Jesus. I know what my father is doing. I know what my father is doing in the name of Jesus. I'm not aloof. I'm not at a loss. In the name of Jesus, I am connected. I am connected with the heavenly strategies. In the name of Jesus, I am connected. I am filled with all knowledge. In the name of Jesus, in all spiritual wisdom, I have insight into God's purposes. In the name of Jesus, I have insight into God's purposes. Oh, Malagarata Tatalabosha, Ekele Brege de Gele Bregedosha, Mantalaga la Bregedosha, Manteleke Rebregedesa, Mantale Bregedosha, Manta Cara da la Bosha, and I'm able to distill them in the name of Jesus, Mantele Bregedosha, Manta Ekele Bregedosha, into my everyday experiences in the name of Jesus. Oh, 
Mandala Bragadosh, Ekele Bregados, Mandala Bregados, Ekele Gele Bregados, Mandale Brekeke Lebregados, Mandale Bregados, Ekele Nenenes, Ivre Bregage Lebregada, Lebrotosi Endeha, Ile Bregados. Thank you, Father. I am blessed with understanding in the name of Jesus. My loco rada gabasa, eke ne gede gede dere, mande le brege dosha, e le brege gege le bosha, e le ke le brege dosha, e le ke le brege dosha balababa, rababa bababa sha, mende le rababa juzi andaya, e le brege dosha mika na na juzi andaya chai, e re brababa dosha, e le ke nende le gede ya, re 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 gede 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 sha, le brege ne kanara ha, re re gede gede le brege dosha, e le gede Oh, Mashabala Bragadosha, Mandeleke Gele Bregadosha, Mandeleke Le Bregadosha, Ilege Le Bregadosha, Mandala Las, Elege Le Bregadosha, Mandale Brekeke Sekete Eke, E Marado Dodoros, Mandale Bregadosha, Elege Le Bregadosha. Thank you, Father. I am filled with understanding. I am filled with understanding. I am filled with understanding. In the name of Jesus, I am filled with understanding. I am able to understand spiritual things. I am able to understand spiritual things. In the name of Jesus, Marosha Balakaya Galabosha. I know the essence of my Christianity. In the name of Jesus, I see the weight, the glory locked up in my Christianity. In the name of Jesus, Mandale Bregadosha. I am filled with understanding. I am filled with understanding. I am filled with understanding. Makora dagaba zisiste elebreke kusonto yosh mandala braga daga eka elege lebreke rosha bara babas eka nanda la kata eka la bosha elege te eke lebreke rosha elege te eke lebreke rosha la raba bala dea raba dea kana na 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 sha mandala lebreke kusha tayan elege lebreke kesho shupalata elebro ponda la dea kasha taya jeba baba la bosha. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are still praying on, we are still on verse 9. And we are praying for understanding. We are praying for understanding. See, the Bible says that He would fill us, that He may fill us with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So, you can't say you know God if you don't have understanding. You can't just have spiritual deposits locked up within you and you are not able to translate it on the, so understanding does not exist without wisdom because understanding needs wisdom it needs wisdom as the substrate to decode into your daily experiences but you cannot also walk without understanding because you cannot connect these the deposits in your spirit to what you should actually be doing so it's 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 one thing for you to know uh, you know you know uh, christ in me the hope of glory but if you don't have understanding of who you are you can't actually be glorious you can't actually show forth that hope of glory you can't actually be a spectacle you can't actually be the church that god is saying look that's my church because you do not have understanding so we need understanding we need to understand that the faculty to decode to decode who I am I need to understand that the faculty to decode who I am you need to understand that the faculty to decode what church is the authority of church in a state you need understanding to decode what it is hallelujah so we're going to be praying again we're going to be praying for understanding the Lord I'm filled with understanding I, am, I want to know, I want to know I don't just want to say, I actually want to know I want to know what I have I want to know the spiritual wisdom that you have given me I want insight into your purposes I want to understand see, in Psalms sorry, uh, see, in Psalms 103 verse 7 David made a profound statement he said that God showed his acts to the people of Israel so sometimes we just want to stop acts are for outsiders Bragadosh, they are for outsiders. He says he shows his ways that you know his insights. You that God, why did you do this thing? Why, 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 what's, what's the 
I could I sorry. So he, he, he shows his ways to he shows his ways to Moses. He takes him on a journey. He takes me on a journey. He takes you on a journey of faith that you know God, that you press into that knowledge. I know I have understanding. I have understanding. I have understanding of my spiritual heritage. I have understanding in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Mandala Rotosa, Mande Ekele Bregados, Macaraba Labasia, Rebreke Kele Bregade, Legele Bregados, Manda Le Bregados. I am filled with your knowledge in all spiritual wisdom and in understanding. In the name of Jesus, Rebaco Le Bregades, Rekete Kele Gedeagas, Mande Leke Rebregados. Malakoto yengele bregede, rabalaka tandele ata, ere bregede gele bregedosha, mamba baradosha, mamba baradosha, mande karata, mande legede yanda le bregedosha. Elegedea, rebre bregede yaka, rababa la bregedosha, manda la bregedosha, mante kele bregede, revelete andasa, mande legele bregedosha, reke kele bregedosha, manta e haladesa, elegede ando di bragadosha, mamba reta, e maradala rosha, le bregege le bregedosha. Thank you, Father. I have understanding, I have understanding in the name of Jesus, mande leke le bosha, I have inside into your purposes and i have understanding i am able to break it down in the name of jesus i am able to walk in the reality of my spiritual experience which is in the name of jesus
the way the way we please him is not to do things that just have earthly significance you see all these things that paul mentioned are things that create eternal storage of relevance they are not just things of you know, earthly significance or things that do not have any corresponding spiritual relevance he says that number one i am bearing fruit so you're going to just oh you're going to be looking at you're going to be praying and getting i'm bearing fruit in every good work number two i'm con i'm con so i don't stop growing the knowledge of christ there is no there is no there is no finiteness to god's knowledge or to to how much we can know christ so i keep on growing i continue to grow so the way i please god is number one i am bearing fruit in every good work in every good work in every good work i am bearing fruit number two i am growing in the knowledge of who christ is in the name of jesus so let's 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 pray those two and then we'll come back and take the remaining two so declare declare in the name of jesus i am bearing fruit in every good work across every different dimension where good works is represented in the name of jesus man dalapa i'm bearing fruit i'm bearing fruit in the name of jesus in every good work in every good work in every good work man deleka rombogorosha man taita na brogorosha man dale brogorosha that's how i walk pleasing my god rabbi I bear fruit in every good work in the name of Jesus. I continue to grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. I do not stop in my growth. I am not stunted. I do not have deficiency in my growth. In the name of Jesus, I am growing. I am growing in the name of Jesus. I'm becoming wise, stronger in the name of Jesus. Makala bregerosha, ekele bregerosha, mandalaka, mandele kele bregerosha. I continually press in into a faculty of Christ in the name of Jesus. Mala bragerosha, I am bearing fruit unto every good work. Mandala bregerosha, mandele kele bregerosha, mandala bragerosha. My work is pleasing to God in the name of Jesus. Ragatandele gereyangasha, ekele bregerosha. Rabba baba la basa, rabba kanande le gereata, ere bregege le bregerosha, mandala bragerosha. Mandala bragerosha, I am not inactive in the name of Jesus. Mandele ke le bragerosha, mandala bragerosha. I have a walking experience in the name of Jesus. I have a walking experience. Mandala rogoskata, mandale bragerosha. I continue to walk, pleasing my God. I continue to walk, pleasing my God in the name of Jesus. Rabako lo bragerosha. Makala bregere, we break a kele bregeresha, elege de ango zu bregerosha, mandala bregerosha, mandala de ango zi bregerosha, mandala dosha, eleke kele gedereha, re braga dala bregerosha, re kele bregerosha, mandala kala bregerosha. Mala braga doshi en chala braga de, rava vada la braga de, re brika na la la, re brega la braga doshi, manda le braga doshi. For everywhere good works are mentioned, I have representation. Manda le braga doshi, manda le braga doshi. I am God's masterpiece in the name of Jesus. Manda le braga doshi, created for good works, for good works. I am made for good works in the name of Jesus. I do good work. In the name of Jesus, Mandale Bregerosha, I am anointed to do good. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed to dispense good. In the name of Jesus, Marago Satan de Leata. Oh, Makala Bregerosha, Ekene de Day, Elegele and the Bregerosha, Mandeke Le Bregerea, Rabba Bala Bregerosha, Mantaea, Rabba Ekana Bregerosha, Male Kandala Rasi, Elegele Bregerosha, Mandala Bregerosha, Malako Randa Galabosha. I am created for good works in the name of Jesus, and so I do good in the name of Jesus. I do good, Mandele Bregerosha, if who does not reside within me, Maraga. Siete manda le brega dosham manda le brega dosham mala ro siete le brega de rapa ba 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 basham male garata e kalabos e le brega dosha bala basham manda le brega gea male garata e kasite 
Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Still on verse 10, it says that so being strengthened with all power according to his glorious power so that you have patience and endurance. So it says that God furnishes you with all his power <laughs> so that you have patience and endurance. So you know, remember what I said earlier how that we exist in two realms, right? We exist in the realm of the spirit and then the realm of the flesh. And the, the, when you live out your being led by your spirit, right? You are working against the world. So you need endurance and you need patience. So God furnishes you with his power. He furnishes you with strength or endurance and patience because the patient person would ultimately inherit the promise. So the promise is going to come to you, but you have to be patient because you are walking led by the spirit. You're not walking following the dictates of the world. You're walking led by the spirit. So you need endurance and you need patience so that you don't, you don't, uh, you don't prematurely disrupt the work God is doing. You need patience. You need to endure. You need to suffer long. Jesus waited and waited. You know, he could just, at 15, he could just save the world and say, God, I'm coming. But he was sub subjected to, imagine what it is to be in heaven and then come to earth. Imagine how much of the levels of, uh, I don't know the word to use now, the, how compared to heaven and compared to, to the kingdom of God, imagine how the earth would be. So imagine you, just like someone living in, you know, people that maybe live in UK and then go to maybe a, one of the like third world countries, there's no water, there's no... So imagine staying here for 33 years just to save everyone else. He needed patience and endurance. God's power furnished him with that. He could have aborted God's purpose. Hey God, I'm coming back. I don't understand this faith. So you need patience and you need endurance so that you can inherit the promise. And that's why he says that you now... So what the patience and endurance works in you is that you continue to give thanks to the Father because he has already qualified you. So he has, he has qualified you already. I know I am a partaker, but I will wait. Even though I'm going through seemingly contrary situations, I will wait until I get that promise. So I have endurance and I have patience. So you are going to pray. God, I'm not one of those that would have bought what you're doing prematurely. I have endurance. I am able to wait. I am patient. I endure. I suffer long in the name of it's the fruit of the spirit. He said that, that the righteous man does not does not is not in haste in the name of Jesus. I have patience. I have endurance in the name of Jesus. I can wait for the promise in the name of Jesus. I can wait for my promise. Thank you, Father, because you are strengthening me with all power unto patience and long suffering in the name of Jesus. I am able to wait. I am able to wait. I am able to wait for what you have promised in the name of Jesus. I am not in haste in the name of Jesus. Because I know that what you have promised is coming up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I am strengthened with all power. I am strengthened with all power. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I am furnished with endurance in the name of Jesus. I have patience. I have patience. I have patience in the name of Jesus. Oh, Malada e kanamas e fara baba babas e kananda legele 
place. Manda lebrerosum, manda la rosa. The Bible says, Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him, he says, he endured the cross. I despise present day shame in the name of Jesus. Manda le carata, eh, maradosa balata, eh, le kenedresa, manda la rosa, malaga rapalataya talabos. Malabos, e ananana, e ananana, e na bala casata, e ne na na mosa, e ne na na mosa, e na malos, e canades, e na na nes, e malados, malacamata, e da rasa, e ne bolota da rasa, e na braquena da rasa bata, e na dalea canabosa bata, e ne da la cada bosa. I can wait, I can wait. I can't wait. Fun if you don't adjust in the name of Jesus. I am patient. I am patient. I do not abort the promise in the name of Jesus. I burst my ghost. I burst in the name of Jesus. Rakasa time. I can't wait. I can't wait. Elabato Valadez. Elabadez. Malaka Edosh. Malaka Edosh. Malaka Edosh. Malaka Edosh. Malaka Edosh. Enaka Etayades. Malaka Edosh. Mate. Enandalakas. Enandalakas. Elaka Ades. Miradales. Enanaya Kat. Enanaya Kat. Marabosha Vietam. Enakata Etalados. Emaragara Daeta. Enanaya Karabas. Rebaka Rakataya Kadas. Strengthening with all power. Maraka Sotaya, Ishibala Basata, unto endurance, Mandala Bosha, unto patience, Mandala Basata, joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified me. I am qualified in the name of Jesus. I am qualified. Ragata Lebregadosha, Mandala Bosha. I can stand in the presence of my Father because I am qualified. I am qualified. I am qualified in the name of Jesus. He has qualified me. Erados Kadaya, Maraka Lebregadosha, to partake. Eh, Malaba Sataya, in the heavenly inheritance. In the name. Of Jesus, He has qualified me to partake in the name of Jesus. I am not locked out of the gates, I am in the house in the name of Jesus. I am in the house. I am a child. Oh, Malagaladesh. I am a child. I'm a child. Malakabasia. Malakabasia. Qualified. 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 Rebakasias. Oh, Maracasayas, Ilegaladas, Maracasas, Elagana Nation, Maragala Bosch, Eh, Malabosch, I have a portion. I have a portion, Eh, Kabala Bosch, I have a portion. I have a portion in the name of Jesus, Eh, Le Carabasata, Maraco Sataya, Mandala Bogos. E kana mana mas mandala basia e lebro josho yeke mandala basa thank you father mandala basia ta e mago shata for he has qualified me mandala basa to partake in the name of Jesus I am qualified to partake in the name of Jesus I have a share in the kingdom of light in the name of Jesus I'm not bound by darkness. I have a share. I have a share in the name of Jesus in the kingdom of light. All that the kingdom of light represents, I have a share. Maragosha handa mandelekeleta. I am a partaker. I am represented in the name of Jesus. I receive my share. Mandalebregedosha. My share does not lay unused in the name of Jesus. I receive my share. I am using my share in the name of Jesus. I am interacting with my portion. I am interacting with my portion in the name of Jesus. My portion for divine healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, Marako I am interacting with my portion. I am interacting with my portion 
I'm interacting with my portion. I'm our CCA celebrated ocean. Makabala take a liberated ocean. Hallelujah. So he says that in verse 12, it says, I'm giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. He says that for he has rescued you from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. One of the things that stand between us and entering into what God has promised us is, the, is when we are too wrapped up in the knowledge of our nature. We are thinking, oh, this body of sin, you know, you know, I'm bound by the power of sin. You know, I shall must do wrong, Sha. In this week, I, I cannot walk without doing wrong. I cannot walk without saying what is not right. He says, but he has forgiven. He has forgiven. He has rescued us from the dominion of darkness. And he has brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves. You know, Jesus was talking to Peter. He says, the devil has come that he may sift you. He says, I have prayed for you. He said, the devil came to me, but he found nothing in me. He may, he may look as if when I say that the devil can come to you and find nothing in you. He may look like it's audacious. You're only thinking it's audacious because you, you think you're going to do it in your power. You're going to walk in rightness and righteousness in your power. You can walk in rightness by the Holy Ghost. And the devil comes to you and finds nothing in you. He finds nothing wrong in the word you say. He finds nothing wrong in how you, how you think towards your, your, your brother or your sister. Because you love them. So you cannot think anything wrong towards them. The love of God has been shed upon your heart. So you can't think evil concerning anyone. And so the devil will come to you and will find nothing in you. But he says that he has forgiven you. And I saw a quote yesterday night. And I would like to read, you know, just read it to us. He says forgiveness can liberate resources both individually and collectively in the face of the irreparable. When you, when you think that you cannot be forgiven or you are bound by the power of sin, the blessings and the grace of God can't flow your way. It's not because God is it's flowing or it's being truncated just because you have a wall of, oh, I'm bound by the power of sin. So it can't come, to, the grace of God can't flow to you. So we're going to be praying and we're just going to be praying that scripture that God has rescued me. He has rescued me from the dominion of darkness. And he has translated me into his kingdom of his son. He says, I have redemption. I have been bought off. I have been bought off. In the name of Jesus. Never again to return. In the name of Jesus. I have been bought off. And I have received the forgiveness of sin. In the name of Jesus. The devil cannot lay any claim on me. In the name of Jesus. Because I have been redeemed. I have been bought off. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, and I have received forgiveness of sin. Mandale ropoko shkataya. The power of sin has no power over me. Mandale bregedosh. Mandeleke rebregedosh. The Bible says, "Death, where is your sting?" Maro sabaya. Refe bregiengeli bregedosh. Mandale bregedosh. I am able to walk in righteousness. I am able to walk in rightness in the name of Jesus. Mandale bregedosh because I have been translated. I have been translated the power of sin has no hold on me in the name of Jesus Hey, Maradosh, Maradakanta, 
Kanaranasa, E Maragadarasa, E Kanaranasa, E Legada Eta Eta, E Labasu Simanasia, Rev Ramale Canade, Rev Rekaneda Dressia, Rose Abata, Rose Abata, E Malagaka, E Legadanasa, E Lagaradesa, E Legades, E Rababas, E Makosata. Thank you, Father, because you are able to keep me from falling in the name of Jesus. You are able to keep me from falling. You are strengthening me, establishing me, settling me in the name of Jesus. Colossians 2 from verse 2. I'll be reading from the NLT translation. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan, which is Christ himself. God's mysterious plan, which is Christ himself. And in Christ lies hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In Christ lies hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now, I would like to say that these two verses are broken down into two. I like to break them down into two. The first part talks about strength and love. I'm afraid about love. And the second part talks about understanding God's mysterious plan. It talks about God's mysterious plan. Yes, which is Christ Jesus. And we basically we are praying for wisdom. We are praying for wisdom and knowledge. We've prayed for revelation and knowledge. But now we'll be praying for wisdom. And I'd like to say that this wisdom is not the normal wisdom that people know that they say oh you are wise oh you are like a sage oh you are an old man and then they say oh because you have gray hair you are wise and you know this wisdom is talking about God's wisdom and I'd like to say that this is this is seeing the heart of God concerning a matter this is seeing the future and speaking about it in the present um, I'm sorry, I'll be drawing inferences from a lot of things because while meditating on this scripture, a lot of scriptures came up in my spirit and I'd like to go to 1 Corinthians 2.8. 1 Corinthians 2.8. We'll be starting from 7. 
It says, no, the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God. His plan that was previously hidden, even though he made it for our ultimate glory before the world began. Verse 8. And it says, but the rulers of this world have not understood it. If they had, they would not have crucified our glorious Lord. Remember in Colossians, it says that this same Christ is the mystery of God. Now it says here that if they had known that this is the mystery, they would not have crucified our glorious Lord. Verse 9. Please let's be fast. Verse 9. That is what the scriptures mean when they say, No eye has seen, nor yet no ear has heard, and no man mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Ten. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. For his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep spirit. And the reason we pray in tongues is because we are speaking the mysteries of God. We are speaking the realities of all that Christ has done for us. And in that same vein, we are praying that our eyes are open to see. And that our ears hear. And that our minds become convicted in this truth. We are asking that illumination floods our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we are asking that the visions that are not clear, our eyes are able to see. Information that is rare, our ears hear them. And we are asking that our hearts begin to be able to grasp the full context of all that God has in store. Eyes begin to see. Yes, yes, yes. Eyes begin to see. Oh, We are able to fully understand the realities of all that Christ has done. Fixing our gaze on the cross, we are able we are able to come to the realization of the finished works of Christ for us in the name of Jesus. Hey, with burnings that cannot be uttered, he cast under a 
We walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him and doing all things in the name of Jesus. We are not stranded. We are not stranded. We are not devoid of ideas. When there are problems, we show up. When we show up, confusions are clear, doubts are clear in the name of Jesus. of the prayers now. Colossians 2. Okay, so from verse 1. Yes, so it says, Yet when I am among mature believers, I do speak with words of wisdom, but not the kind of word that belongs to this world or to the rulers of this world. Okay, I want you to know how much I have agonized for you and for the church as Laodicea, for many other believers who have never met me personally verse 2. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. Sorry, do you have um, easy to read version? No, okay, so I'll quickly read that from here. Um, okay. Verse 2. Okay, so ERV, easy to read. Well, I can't find Okay, so ERV says, sorry, ERV. Okay, thank you, ma. Thank you so much. Okay, so verse 2 says, I want all the believers to become strong in their spirit. What I want us to draw from here is strength. He says, I want them to be strong in their spirit and I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan. Sorry. Um, so I'd just like to say a story. Well, it's not a story anyways. It's in the scripture. Revelation 3. Revelation 3.15. This was when um, Jesus was writing letters to the churches. And then he wrote to the Laodicea church. Remember that this is the same scripture where Paul admonished them and told them um, about the, God's mysterious plan and everything. And just imagine that he also prayed this type of prayers. And then Laodicea church 
God writes, Jesus writes to them and says, I know all the things that you do. So I can start from 14. It's quite, it's a long read, but I'll be very fast with it. Okay, so it says, write this letter to the angel of the church in Laodicea. This is the message from the one who is the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's new creation, 15. I know all the things you do that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other. 16. But since you are like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. 17. You say I am rich. I have everything I want. I don't need a thing. I don't realize that you are wretched. I'm miserable. I'm poor. I'm blind and naked. Now why would Jesus say this? These people were rich. They were actually rich. They were investing in textiles and um, textile rather. They had clothes and then they had um, a very good hospital eye clinic and then they had a bank. And then 18, 18 says, so I advise you to buy gold from me, gold that has been purified by fire. Then you will be rich. Also buy white garments from me so you will not be shamed by your nakedness and ointments for your eyes so you'll be able to see. These people had become self-confident in what they had. They had become self-reliant that they felt, oh, we have everything we need. And they failed to remember Christ. They failed to remember where they were coming from. They failed to remember God. Now, we will be praying for strength. That is why, because it is important that when you get to this level, you do not forget. You do not wax cold. Now, these ones were not even cold. They were not hot. They were in the middle. And God says, pick one. You are either hot or you are either cold. Now we'll be generating fire. We'll be generating that hotness. We are praying for strength that you may be strengthened by, with, by his spirit. No, that you might be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man. It is through the Holy Spirit on your inside that you are strengthened because you cannot do this of your own. You, no matter the amount of confessions you make it cannot come to pass it is by the spirit on your inside so we are praying with strength that we are strengthened by his spirit in our inner man we do not lose case we do not lose focus our attention is fixed because these riches will come these things will come you will enter into these realms you will break forth but will you be able to stand what will be said of you will your strength be able to carry you through can you sustain the wealth that is coming can you sustain the influence that is coming we are asking for strength we are asking for strength not because we can do this all by ourselves not because we can go this journey all by ourselves but because we are trusting the Holy Spirit we are trusting God to carry us Yes, Lord, he cast on the Rogatina Banda Bosa. Eh, Carabababa. Oh, Santa Rogatina Banda Bosa. Yes, we are strengthened. Yes, we are strengthened. We are strengthened by your spirit in our inner man. In the name of Jesus. He carabos under Rogada. Eh, Carabababa. He shunned the Rogatina Banda Bosa.
weary. Hey, Sonda Rogada, we are not distracted by the mundane things of this world. Hey, come Sonda Rogadina Panabos. We are not distracted by the mundane things of this world. In the name of Jesus. E kasanda ragadina banda bosa. Rekede mo sanda ragadina banda bosa. E kasanda ragadina banda bosa. Our strength is renewed from day to day. In the name of Jesus. E kasanda ragadina banda bosa. Sanda ragadina banda kede. E sanda ragadama sanda. E karaba ba 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 ba. E sanda ragadina. Yes, Lord, your strength is multiplied. 
that within us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we do not grow weary. In the name of Jesus, a Cassandra Ragada, a Sandra Ragadina Bandabosa, a Cassandra Ragadina Bandabosa, yes, he Cassandra Ragadina Bandabosa, Rekademos, Sandra Ragadina Bandabosa, Rekademos, Sandra Ragadina Bandagadi, a Sandra Ragada, a Sandra Ragadina Bandabosa. I pray for comfort for every heart in the name of Jesus. Every heart is shared. Every heart is encouraged in the name of Jesus. Every heart is comforted. Every heart is shed in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you can't say that you're not going to 
Ocosia de la Rocha, O Gavia Patusi Macasia Kereosia, Acasse Kerea Socoria. Whose report do you believe? O Casica la de la Rocha, do you believe the report of what is being said about you by your circumstances or the report of his word? Ile Kerea Bacusia de la Rocha, O Maida Cusia Bacuria de la Rocha. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Ereko sekere le bodosh. Oh, ma se balondo so konere bodosh. E kalian de lere se abakushia. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. I'm, I'm, I'm super refreshed and super excited. I'm sorry about my voice. I hope you hear me. Oh, it's so, it's so amazing and so beautiful. I've been following the Pauline prayers from the beginning. And if you're like me, you realize that God is just telling us, I have given you all that you need. I have given you all that you need to live the life that I have called you to. That's all he's just saying. I have given, I'm, I'm telling you, I've given you love. I've given you joy. I've given you hope. I've given you peace. I've given you faith. As in, how blessed can you be? I'm so blessed to be a Christian right now. I, how much work do I even need to do? All he's begging us to do is to accept and be convicted of the goodness that he has put in us so that we can now be that goodness to the world. That's all he's asking us to do. So we pray from Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 11 <laughs> praise God so I'm going to be reading um, I'll be reading ELV version need to read version so it says that is why we always pray for you this is Paul talking to the Thessalonians we ask our God to help you live the good way he wanted when he chose you in if we go to KJV, okay, he says, So we keep on praying for you, asking our God to enable you, enable you to live a life worthy of His call. I feel like for, for, for the literature students here, he says, Worthy of His call. For me, it's like two opposite things. You say you've called me, and you're asking me, like, Worthy of your call. So, what do you mean? I've been asking him, What do you mean that should be worthy of your call? And even listening to everyone praying today, I realize, oh God, he's not saying that you have to walk to be worthy of his call. It's not my work. It's his work. But he's saying that you have to be convicted in your spirit to be worthy of his call. You have to understand who he is. You have to know who he is. Because how do you, if you don't know who God is, how can you manifest his power on earth? If you don't understand him, how can you live his life on earth? So, <coughs> thank you. So while we were praying from the beginning when Pastor Michael started leading prayers, God has been drawing some, some map in my heart. He says that He gives hope, He gives joy, He gives peace. I'm asking you to trust in me. So ask yourself, do you trust God? And how do you even trust God? You don't trust what you don't know. There's the analogy that is used frequently. When a when a little boy comes and says, My dad will buy me a bicycle. It's because he knows his dad. He knows that my dad loves me. I know that he's unshakable. It's not a question of if he's a good boy or he's not a good boy. Some of them are even the naughtiest. And they'll be saying, but that is going to buy me a bicycle. But that's not, it's because he knows, he's convicted in the spirit man that my dad loves me. He has no choice but to buy me a bicycle. So how many of us think that way? And as I was coming up, Holy Spirit just kept on telling me, a lot of us feel like, some addictions cannot live our lives. We feel like we cannot move from this face that we are to another face. But he's saying that I'm introducing you to the life that I have given you. It's like I am introducing you to the life that I have given you already. All I'm waiting for you is to align yourself with the knowledge of goodness in you so you can live the life that I have already prepared ahead of you. Is it, is it, for me, it's just, just it's, it's awesome, it's overwhelming. It, they now took us through efficient. When now told us about the knowledge, we are going to pray. I just really want this to think in deep because I really want us to not just go religious. I want you to actually look into your heart and see the defect in your heart. So he says, 
um, knowledge, wisdom, revelation is when we have knowledge, when we have wisdom, when we have revelation that we will now know the hope of his calling. That's when we will have, that's when we know that he has given us a peace that surpasses all understanding. That's when we will know that we have joy. Because you can't just have joy because you want to. It's not a joy, it's not a laughter thing. It's a joy that is within you that flows out. And he now says that. Sorry. So, all this, you know, we're talking about goodie bags. I know that Pastor Daniel is talking about the goodness of God that is in us. And all he prayers is just stealing what goodie bags is about. So, his knowledge, his wisdom that now gives you hope, that gives you peace, that gives you joy, is the goodness of God in you. And you can only, you can only align yourself to that with the conviction knowing in your heart that God is good. You have to seek, you have to keep looking at Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. At the end of this scripture, he says something about, sorry, sorry guys, I hope you are following me. It's very, very, very important that you follow me. So, it's, so, I think, so he says that, um, wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God will count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all good pleasure of his goodness. Did he say your goodness? Did he say your goodness? He said of his goodness. He will fulfill all good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. I'm sure when you get to that last part, if you are like me, You'll be like, ah, walk of faith, can you more walk of faith, I'm sorry. But even the work of faith is not yours. What does who, who does the Bible call the author and the finisher of your faith? Even the work of faith is not yours. I want to just even like I don't know, like I'm too overwhelmed. Like even the work of faith is not mine. All I need to do is just believe that he has given me all these things and I start living the life he has created the lies that the enemy gives us and see, he's even saying again I'm strengthening your inner man as in, I'm telling you that nothing because he knows that us <laughs> if we look up to flesh we will never be worthy of his call that is it if we look up to flesh if we look up to what we tell ourselves if we look up to what our parents have said about us you're a stubborn girl yeah, yeah, this, that, yeah, that. If you look up to what the circumstances around you are telling you, you will never be worthy of his call. You being worthy of his call is you aligning yourself to the knowledge of who he is in you. And he said that Christ in me, the hope of glory. So I was reading Pauline prayers by Pastor Dami, and he was talking about how a lot of us feel that when he said that, um, you know, there's a song we sing, God's glory cannot be shared. A lot of us that like, our glory belongs to God. But you see, Yes, it is about partakers of the inheritance, as if we share in this glory. Because he, because what he said that he wants the world to see us. We are, we are his representative. We are his ambassadors. So why would he not say it's only me that has glory? So you people, because <laughs> I kept on referencing workman and workmanship. We are his, we are his workmanship. He is the workman. So would you want to produce anything that people cannot say this thing was produced by share? Would you want to would you want to give out am I lying? If you produce something, you want to put excellence into it, right? So they can say this thing is by Shaye. It's branded, your name is branded on it. This thing was manufactured by Shaye. So what do you do? You put you put yourself into that thing. So God has put himself into us. So this question this morning is are you ready to receive your are you ready to receive your inheritance? Because he has given you. There's no question. So now please I'm I'm begging you this morning. Look into your heart. Look into your heart and ask yourself, where is that area of my life where I'm not believing this word? It might be an addiction. It might be something else. I don't know. Addiction just keeps coming to my mind. It might just be so it might it might be you moving from where you are right now to where God wants to take you to. But it, it, it has been so difficult because you can't just see it happening. So ask yourself this morning. Oh, bear yourself out to God. You know the beautiful thing? The Holy Spirit is groaning for you right now. That's another beautiful thing. He's seeing you cry. He's seeing you travel. He's groaning for you because he knows the things in your heart. His love is so powerful. He la kisi matu di keso tene le boros. He gasanda la rose kele ne ke ye pagari ange le rosa. Oh ba koso tonda la boros. Oh ba la kese kere na la rosa. I am worthy of your call, Lord, because I have lined myself.
out to the knowledge of who you are in me. Ila bake celebro ko sote nele dosha. O baka se na kaya dala bose. Ekele de ke ye ke ya bakusi na kaya dala bose. Ika se kele de bosh. Ekele de ke ye ke ye ko sote nele dala bose. Isa para di ke celebro sia. O le kaya dala bose kele de bose. On the spirit be kele be kaya na kisia. O se kele de bosha. Oh, le badusia, ala makianti ya ki ya kesolea, e kalanti ya kesele barosia, aya badusisi ya ti ya basolea, o zakele barosia, o zakaya na la bikasia, i zakala mo osu tolele baros, e kele ndele de ke ye ke via bakusia, o balia ndele de ke sia, o bakoso kole de baroshe, e kele de ke ye ke de ne ke so kolea. Ikasala brakusi na dolosia, eka yambali ere kesi ya dolosia. Spirit of God mekere deke ye mekere ya, eka yanga suki ya dolosia. Yeka biya bakusi iki dia tere dolos, eka le deke ye mekere ya, eka le deke ye mekere ya, eka le deke ye mekere ya. Ikasala borosu kuri ya kasi ya dolosia, eka le dele deke le deke le borosu. Oh Jesus, I am a rose. E kasonte le boroshe. I kasalanda la biya kista. I kasonte le boroshe kodiya. E balandi ya kese kala na doswa. Help me align myself to your will. Help me align myself to your will. Oh, je kala boroshe to le boroshe. E kele boroshe yanga ya la kasia. I kasaka ya na la doshe. E kala na la biya tele ya do. Oh, my eyes are open to that which you see in me. I know I am loved by you. I know I am loved by you. Basukuria keso de leboroso. E balade le deo si caladosia. E la more posu amparade. Oh, balade ke le leboroso. E ke le bracusi andalaros. I kasia ke le deo se ke le leboroso. E palande le ke ke be kesia. I kasana kuria kisi leboros. I kasie ke le leboros. Spirit of God. E ke le deo le kesia. Oh, Maria ne le deo sutia. I kasuni ka i ba kuria ke le leboros. My life is aligned to your goodness in me. Oh, she ke le leboros. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh. Um, Jesus is Jesus is the Son of God, and He was the representation of the Father on earth. But Jesus did not just come to represent the Father on earth; He also came to tell that there's a possibility of you being the Father on earth. So, yeah, I know there are so many things that happen, and you might look at yourself now and feel unworthy. But I'm telling you, with a strong conviction in my heart, that you are always enough, because God lives in you. You are always enough because <laughs> you are always enough because it is not about your flesh. It is not about your flesh. How do you even get to live by the spirits if you keep calling on the flesh every day? Master, is he is it as worthy? Worthy of this calling. Calling is in continuous. It means that this thing is it, it, it's a daily move. It's a daily move. But if you keep tuning your moving yourself towards the authority of the flesh. How do you now cross over to the authority of the spirit? So we need to consciously. I just want you to take your time. You don't. I don't know how you pray. I don't know how you commune with God. But see, you know in yourself, deep within yourself, you know those things, those lies you've told yourself. You know that sin that has been that made you guilty for years. But now you are telling, you are taking your power back. What, what does resurrection power do? It gives life to the dead. So now you are taking your power back. The lies you have told yourself. The stories you have written about yourself. Take your power back this moment. Because it is, a, it is important that you are worthy of his call. So that you can be all that he has called you to be. In the pussy back. Take your power back. Take it back. In the pussy and the rose paradise. It is not about you. Hey. Hey, Lord, 
ቆስተ ከለ ያን ለዶሽ እትያ ኤለ ባቱ ሲያን ገበ ቆሶ ተነ ለዶሽ ኢዛ ከለ ባኪ ሲያን ለዶሽ ኢን ጂዘስ ኔ so we we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll go back to this prayer bro. i really want to point out something so you can see some of us can see to ourselves but really i'm not a sinner like that like that so maybe this thing that this lady is saying in front of me does not really apply to me i think it applies to sinners so <laughs> funny the salonians when i read from the beginning they were actually good people they were cool people they were not bad people but they were still, but God was still telling them that they were not worthy of this call so it's beyond and even if you, if you, if you think that way that's already a sin because it's pride and you're just trusting in yourself so it's beyond um, if I'm acting right if I'm righteous by my own standards righteousness by God's standards we all know that it's, it's faith so I just want you to tell you I don't know why I have to mention that for someone right here. If you feel, oh, I've been good, I've been this, that alone is a problem of self. Now, this is a, this is a, faith means you are totally dependent on God. It, I struggle with this. I don't know if you guys struggle with this. Even coming up here, I was struggling. Because I, I was saying, God, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know how you want me to say it. And I, I would like, do I need to read this? Do I need to read that? And I would hear the Holy Spirit telling me, why can't you just even totally rely on me? And let me take charge. So for a lot of us, it's difficult to totally rely on the Spirit of God. Because we are used to controlling things. We are used to producing the outcome that we desire. And that's why you see that you need endurance. You need long suffering to wait on God until his own outcome is manifested. A lot of times we want our own outcomes. So you want to be good. You want to be kind by your own standards. But at the end of the day, you check the root of that kindness. It's not even it's not good. So or you want to or you want to love by your own standards. So this is this is us totally pouring out ourselves on God and saying, I rely on you. I rely on your word. I rely on you. You are the one that gives me hope. You are the one that gives me goodness. I can I'm not good by myself, but because you live in me, I am good. I am kind. The fruits of the spirit all reflect in me because the spirit lives in me. It's not because I'm trying to be good, it's not because I'm trying to be all those things, but because your spirit lives in me. I am good, I am kind, I am loving, I have peace, I have joy, I give peace, I give joy. You know, we cannot we cannot give all these things if we don't have them. And that's why it is important to God that we have them so that we can give them. So makia do si bakuria kiere de dosha ale kamiamba suti ala dosi. Holy Spirit, I surrender my heart to you this morning. I say Maria die ke suti ala la dosia. I am in total reliance on who you are. My esteem is not from me. My esteem is from you. In a gusile kali amalo tusia. I am in the reliance Oh, thank you for your grace. I am good because you are good. I am kind because you are kind. I am loving because you are loving. Iba suki andala no so Korea. E kalande le boro si kele de ke via makusi akaya. Ayaki abikese ya. I am intelligent because you are the God of intelligence. Ilamba suti ya. I am wise because you are filled with infinite wisdom. E kele de ke super area. Iga si ne kele boro she de kele boro she. Iga sandala no so poko so Korea. Ayate. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I am in total reliance of who you are. I am all this because you are. Oh Jehovah, Iga Oh my. Oh galian de re ke se ke le bro sutia i galian de la de ke via ba kusina ka ya la gosia e ba ya de bro she ke le bro sutia i kasata la bro ko 
sukuria kisi ana la rose. Eka la brati ele le borosho tole le borosho. Iga si na kaya na la rose ya. Eka le borosho tole le borosho. Me kalanda kasi na kuya makusia. Iba lande le borosho tole le borosho. Isa le beke se le beke se kile ya le kusutia. Iga se le borosho. In Jesus' name, we will never tire, we will never be weary or tired of praying like this because it's a daily calling. It says in Philippians 2 13, I know to some people it's normal, but every day I will be awed and amazed that God is calling me into a person that I could never have been by myself, and it's just amazing. But it is not okay. I'm reading Philippians 2 13, amplified version. For it is not your strength, but it is God who is effectively at work in you, both to will and to work. That is strengthening, energizing, and creating in you the longing and the ability to fulfill your purpose for his good pleasure. I'm reading it again. For it is not your strength, for it is God who is effectively at work in you, both to will and to work. That is strengthening, energizing, and creating in you the longing and the ability to, to, to fulfill purpose. It's not only it's also creating the longing, even if there's no desire in you, it's creating the desire in you, the, and it's not giving you capacity. See, whatever purpose he has designed for you, he is saying, I am creating the desire in you. I am also going to give you the capacity to fulfill purpose for his good pleasure, for his glory. I come to say I cannot do it by my flesh I cannot do it by my strength But by your strength By your work in me Oh Lord I acknowledge your work in me I acknowledge your power in me I acknowledge who you are in me Oh, because sekele de kebe koso tenia. 
igasi de kereborosia i basunya karia de rosika igasali a keleboroso tria o baloro kosoko de leborosia igasunya karia bakusi tia de la roche i se kere de ke yibra kisiatia igasi de kereboroso tria e kasuka ya de la rocha isa kaya bakai bakuti de rosh i bakusi a la rosia Oh Jehovah, I have come to acknowledge your work in me. I have come to acknowledge your work in me. E me kere rosia, e kasi ne kere boroso tole le boros, e vale kere ne kese kere ne la ros, e kere ne ke vie pre kere ke suki ne la ros. Oh God, si anda la vie tole le boros. In Jesus' name. Uh, as we come to a close of this session, please can we open our Bibles to Colossians? Colossians 1:12. If you have TPT version, that would be great. So TPT version says, uh, "Oh, sorry." Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Colossians one twelve, um, t- t- um, Passion Translation. It says, "Your hearts can swell with joyful gratitude when you think of how God made you worthy to receive the glorious inheritance freely given to us by living in light." So, when you live in light, living in light means that you are fully aware and you have acknowledged. The goodness of God in you. So he says your, your heart can swell with joyful gratitude when you think of how God made you worthy to receive the glorious inheritance freely given to us by living in light. So just as we round off, just keep just speak in tongues, pray in the language you understand, and just say that I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful for this work you are doing within me. I am grateful that you have even found me worthy. Oh, you chose me. Oh, Bakasi Landusia and your workmanship. Ega suti ambalodosia. Oh, Bakose kele desi kerea. Iba kusi natu dia kele bagosha. Oh, thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Masukere Leboros. Eba kosi ere amorosutia. Iga landa la kere bokose kaya nakusia. Masukere Leboros, Eche Leboros. Iga liande Leborosia bakusia. Iba suki ere Leboros. Ila bra inda la rike sutia. Iga siyege Leboros. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, please say after me. I am the Lord of the Lord. He works powerfully in me to will, to will and to do of His good pleasure. God receives glory through my life, even as I am glorified in Him. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Can you believe you've been praying for five hours? Wow, wow, wow. The atmosphere is charged up. Wow, wow, wow. Five hours. And I'm sure some of us are already getting tired. So I want to go a little exercise. Uh, my head, my soldier, my knee. Uh-huh. Let's do that. Can we all stand, please? Five hours. We still have an hour to go. Let's just all rise and just stretch ourselves. Uh, we have covered miles in the spirit miles many of us let me not say many of us all of us we're going to return to this uh, date december 6 prayed for six hours in our history in the next five six seven years you're going to be remembering today regardless of how well you prayed the fact that you're even here the atmosphere alone has changed many things so uh, it's a privilege it's a privilege and honor to be here so let's just do the exercise my 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 uh my head my shoulder my knee my toe my head my shoulder my knees my toe they all belong to
very fast now. My head, my shoulder, my knee, my toe. My head, my shoulder, my knee, my toe. My head, my shoulder, my knee, my toe. Oh, we love. Praise God. Let me show you what has been happening for the past five hours. Just in the amplified version. In the amplified version. This is what has been happening for the past five hours. And it's James 5. You know I like numbers a lot. <laughs> James 5. Can we have James 5 in the amplified version? James 5 verse 16. Uh, from verse B. Confess to one another and so on. Pray also for one another that you may be healed and restored to a spiritual. I'm starting from the earnest. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer. Continued prayer of a righteous man. Makes tremendous power available. Dynamic in its working. Next. It continues somewhere. Dynamic. Okay, that, that's where it's. Can you, can you go back now? What does it say? It said, tremendous power is made available. And it is dynamic in its working. Many of us, by the time we step out, you just take one step. Door, door just open. Door just open. Before the end of this year. That's what is happening. Because you have charged up the spirit. So, please hold on to this. You have prayed. Power has been generated in the spirit. And the spiritual controls the natural. The spiritual controls and So what we are doing here is not child's play. You have you have pushed the realm of the spirit, and that's why I mean you have travelled. Uh, now you are triumphant. So you are, st- you are stepping out now. You are going triumphant. Praise God. Okay, so we still have one hour to go. One hour to go. About one hour to go. Six hours of prayers. Uh, very quickly, we're going to be praying. Very interesting prayer. <laughs> when I saw it, I said, Pastor, <laughs> we're going to be praying about peace. Peace. peace is one of the words <laughs> it's one of the words that when you sing praying it just by saying it peace can you say peace you just feel that can't, can't you feel that it's a sweet name don't you like that name <laughs> so we're going to be praying about peace and peace is very important peace is an assurance peace is an insurance uh, we live in a world and it's very important for us to understand what peace really is peace is not necessarily the absence of war or chaos or strife or conflict that's not what peace is about i will read you a story very quickly uh, many of us would have heard this story before it's a short analogy that describes peace you may have read it somewhere before or heard it before now there was once a king who offered a prize to the artist who could paint the best picture of peace many artists tried the king looked at all of the pictures after much deliberation he was down to the last two. He had to choose between them. The first picture was of a calm lake. The lake was a perfect mirror for the peaceful mountains that towered around it. Overhead, fluffy white clouds floated in the blue sky. Everyone who saw this picture said it was the perfect picture of peace. But the second picture, second um, um, design, had mountains too. These mountains were rugged and bare. Above was an angry gray sky from which rain fell. Lightning flashed. Down the side of the mountain tumbled a foaming waterfall. This did not appear to be a peaceful place at all. But when the king looked looked, um, closely, he saw that behind the waterfall was a tiny bush growing in the rock. Inside the bush, a mother bird had built her nest. There... In the midst of the rush of angry water, sat the mother bird on her nest. She was the perfect picture of peace. The king chose the second picture because he explained, peace is not only in a place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. Peace in the midst of things as they are. When there is calm in your heart, that is the real meaning of peace. And I can assure you, I'm sure you are, and the world this year has taught us that, look, you need peace. And you can't predict what will happen. And we're going into another decade. I mean, 2020 has been a rough year. Uh, So many things have happened, threatened our peace. And God told us, actually, if you look at John 16, John 16, God says, let me not not put it this way so it doesn't sound uh, like like I'm, I'm, I'm causing us or something. But God actually promised that there will be chaos in the world, actually. He told us that expect chaos. Can, can we look at John 16? KJV. John 16, 33. John 16, 33. It says, These things I've spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world. Jesus, the little red, is in red in the Bible. I promise you tribulation. <laughs> in the world you have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. So God is saying that 
the assurance and the insurance for the tribulation 2021 there's still going to be whether it is NSAS or whatever it is something will happen that will threaten your peace that's not remember when jesus was in the boat with his disciples and i mean the wind started blowing and all of that look at jesus sleeping guys calm down now peace be still that's peace. it wasn't as though nothing was happening it was calm remember when he was going to the, um, the cross beating just he didn't say anything just kept quiet remember pastor during the sermon earlier today when we we're listening to the sermon prayer construct said, if you don't if you're not prayed up and you have peace in your heart you will respond emotionally to things you just react and that's why many things will happen and that's why we have to pray this prayer sincerely very important that we pray this prayer because you can't predict what will happen and it's important that we have peace in our hearts and um from 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 study the past seven years i've been praying this prayer this particular prayer we want to pray because i you know it's my name now so i take i take my name seriously so i researched all the verses in scripture on peace i've been doing that for many years so i have discovered there are many kinds of peace but there are three kinds somebody say three three kinds of peace and we want to pray those prayers for the next um 30 minutes we just take 10 minutes apiece to pray each of the prayers the first kind of peace is in uh psalms 119 let's go to psalm 119 we'll just take turns to pray this uh, prayers of peace psalms 119 verse 165 in kjv i like kjv a lot though. easy to read and be fine they are trying they're trying 165 119 verse 165 do we have it there Great peace have they which love thy love. And what? Nothing shall offend them. Wow. I've been praying that prayer for seven years. I've been praying with great peace. Nothing offense. Because Luke 17 tells us that offense must come. If you put it up there, you see. You can't offense. Somebody will do something. That, even in church, somebody will just maybe wear something or <laughs> say something. And you just just take offense. What happened to John? The greatest, I mean, of his time was the greatest but offense. Offense entered his heart. And so, offense is going to come. In 2021, even before the end of the year, offense, you are guaranteed to ensure that offense. But what will make sure that you don't um, lose that? That's it. Sir. It is. If this is Jesus talking, it is impossible but that offenses will come. And so, if you go back to Psalm um, 119, we're going to be praying for great peace. Great peace speaks to the quantity of peace that you have quantity some people have peace oh, until something comes some other kind of trouble ah, peace in your tip or two, tip or so we want to pray for great peace so you're going to speak to your heart right now lord i pray for great peace abundance of peace fullness of peace so can you lift up your voice and begin to pray in understanding pray in the spirit you can even pray in your mother tongue because of, so you can connect better with god in your mother tongue Great peace. Sheka som regele kos. La braga tos of regediza. Mala kos of regete katov rogotos. Jelegele kos. Raka som regele bos. In the midst of offenses. Great peace. Mala kos of rakata kata kalo brogodos. Jelegele kos. Samba. Rasom regetizo bos. Jelegele kos. Sheka sabra la la los. Ele kos of regele. La la com so fre Zuska fra kataka da 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 la bos Ele como supre de bos No matter the severity of the offense that comes I have great peace that surmounts all offense Ra sombra la sopre de isa Le cobro bolos abrile losa Ra la 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 com so fre de 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 bos Ra la katom fre do siske de de bos Offense from work offense on the street i have great peace against every offense le caso provo bosha le cosu pregare che devo ra ba 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 come so pregare che le 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 bosha che le 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 bosha che le 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 bosha che le 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 I will not be offended. I will not take offense. He sombra la caso. A la cosa frega de 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 bosh. Oh, no matter what happens around me, within me, at my work. 
accomplish at home in the church I will not take offense great peace because I have great peace I have abundance of peace in my heart the peace I have is many it's plenty I do not run out of peace I do not run out of peace I have peace in abundance I have peace in its fullness arrows arrows sholekeja sholekeja great is my peace great is my peace in the name of Jesus great is my peace you still have about seven minutes oh to declare great peace into your heart great peace in your soul great peace in your mind In Jesus name let me give us a bit of context uh, to why we're praying about peace that's a scripture we're actually praying I just went to the other instances let's go to second Thessalonians uh, and this is a scripture you should not forget you should never forget. it's more like a confession even beyond being a prayer and that's why I would admonish us the prayer doesn't end here Choose it every every month you should be pressing for that into this pastor pastor I mean Carl was talking about how we we have an identity we belong there so when we are praying we are pressing it back into our origin that's why every month designate a particular day in the month where you pray three hours extensive you push pressing into where you really belong because here on the earth things will tell you this is who you are this is who you are no this is who you are in the scripture in the word second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16 and it's very easy to remember John 3 16 Second Thessalonians 3 16. That's a good way to remember it, okay? Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. What does it say? Powerful scripture. Chai. Now the Lord of peace himself, Kayabalash, give you peace. Always and by all means. Glory to God. Always and by Kosibo Shefeshe Mumani peace. I like speaking to you about it a lot because you connect because it's your language. You say it huh? by all means. Because wh- why does it say by all means and always? Because many things will try to steal your peace. And so you have to emphasize that and enforce it. The kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violence takes it by force. And so your peace and all of these prayers we are praying. We are not praying for victory. We are praying from victory. Victory is already ours in Christ. Christ already won all the victory. So it's as though somebody has stolen your phone, your phone, your precious iPhone that you bought for over a hundred or how, how much is an iPhone? <laughs> One million or how much you buy iPhone? And somebody takes it from you and say, can, can you, ha-? you, you don't ask, ah, please give me my phone. You speak with confidence. That's why when you say peace, the enemy has stolen some people's peace because of all that is happening around. There's depression, there's corruption, there's end stars, there's this one. Some people's salary has been slashed, many things. Your peace is being threatened. Uh, very uh, Earlier in the year, it was announced, earlier to about two, two, three weeks ago, it was announced that the economy is in recession. Dollar is high. Peace is being threatened. And so you want to enforce this peace. Remember, you are connecting it to the first type of peace, which is great peace. You want to begin to declare now. So can we begin to pray that you God gives me peace always and by all means now no matter what happens always always regardless of where you find yourself regardless of any situation you find yourself you have peace always and by all means let's circumstances we are talking about peace that comes from the lord of peace himself the lord of peace gives you peace always in the morning you have peace at noon you have peace in the evening you have peace at night you have peace on the bus you have peace on the road you have peace at work you have peace as you watch the news you have peace as 
as you scroll through social media, you have peace always. By all means, the Lord of peace. Le cause pre le cause. Rabakaz of Logobosh. Le calabarabash. The peace you have is great. Great is your peace. Oh, pralalalaza. Nothing threatens your peace. Nothing steals your peace. Nothing takes your peace. Eh, le cause of Bahia. Jalagalagalosh. Jalagalagalash. Ah, by all means. By all means, by all means, Nigbo Boyba. Every time, every day, always, I have peace. Allah Pondo Kobolosh in my mind. Peace. Woo! Rabba My peace is abundant. My peace is exceeded. My peace is full. No matter what is thrown at me, no matter the curveball that comes my way, I stand in peace. I walk in peace. I am unmoved. I am unmoved. Great is my peace. Great is my peace. In the name of Jesus, I have great peace in my soul. I have great peace in my relationships. I have great peace at work. I have great peace. I have great peace. Oh, I carry the peace of the Lord. Oh, I'm a custodian of peace. I'm an ambassador of peace. I carry peace everywhere I go. I radiate peace. Oh, rebel is home. Show some regal ghost. La super get the coach. La la casombra. Great is my peace. Great is my peace. Oh, prakazo prelekesa. Lo prega de gare de bosch. Jaya la la bosch. Le sombra bagama. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wow. Wow. So that's the first one. Great peace. How many of you believe you have great peace? When you pray, so it's done already. You don't have to pray twice. Great is your peace. Anything that comes your way, just say, I have great peace. I have peace always by all means. That is how you acknowledge. Acknowledge. All these prayers we are praying, we are acknowledging what we have in Christ. The goodie bags and all the good things in us, we are acknowledging. And so anything comes your way, any thought, you are wondering, how will I pay my school fees? How will I do this? When will I get married? Great is my peace. I have great peace. Always. And by all means. The second kind of peace we're going to be praying about is in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 1. Isaiah 26, verse 1. Oh, we start from verse 1. We're going to verse 3. In that day shall the song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city, salvation. We got a point for wars and bulwarks. Verse 2. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Look at verse 3. Glory to God. Thou keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted Kozavalakash. Perfect peace. That speaks to the quality of peace that you have. The quality of peace. Some people speak, you know, peace, peace is in various forms. And you have peace based on what you have. Your, your account is fat. You, you can have a very, you can have zero Naira in your account, but you have peace in your heart. <laughs> That's perfect peace. Peace that is not dependent on outside circumstances, not dependent on anything happening on the outside. Don't depend on anything you have. Remember, God of all hope gives you joy and peace. God, the kind of peace that gives you hope so that you can abound in hope. The peace you have in your heart is not dependent on you have not nobody has promised you anything, but you just you just have it in your heart. That is perfect peace. So we're going to be praying for perfect peace. This peace, nothing missing, nothing broken. That's the kind of peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. It's perfect. It's complete. It's, it's complete. Apart from it being plenty, you are not trying to look for something else to patch it, to make it so say, ah, let me add this one. This one will make me more peace. We are not looking for anything on the outside. Perfect peace. So can we lift up our voice and begin to decree? I have perfect peace. My peace is complete. Because my mind is staying on him. Oh, nothing missing. 
complete. My peace is a finished work. I am not looking on to anything to supply me with peace. I have perfect peace. I experience perfect peace in my mind. I experience perfect peace in my soul. I experience perfect peace. Always and by all means, I have perfect peace. Always and by all means, my peace is perfect. God is dispensing peace. God is releasing peace. Oh, Prakata Kalaba. Remember, it's the Lord of peace. Oh, he's the one that supplies peace. You don't have to have anything on the outside that points to peace. Peace stays in your soul. Peace is resident in your mind. It is perfect. The peace that God gives is perfect. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. You are perfect peace. My peace is not just plenty, it is perfect. My peace is not just plenty, it is perfect. In all its form, it is pure. Oh, my peace is not polluted, my peace is not corrupt, my peace is perfect. My peace cannot be diluted. My peace cannot be contaminated. Oh, Sabra Kalagabosh. Oh, Regadesh. Relish. Relish. I have perfect peace. Complete peace. Oh, oh, Sabra Kalagabosh. The peace I have is whole. Oh, some peace. Oh, some peace. Peace that the world cannot give. Peace that money cannot give. Peace that my spouse cannot give. Peace that my job cannot give. Peace that my nation cannot give. Oh, I have perfect peace. Peace that no, no work can give. Nothing, nothing can give you this kind of peace. I have perfect peace. Receive this peace right now. Receive this peace right now. Shekazo Brababa. Lava Lavash. You still have about four minutes. Oh, to receive perfect peace. Decree it in your heart. Decree it in your heart. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Decree that my heart hear ye the word of the Lord. You have perfect peace. Speak to your soul. Hear ye the word of the Lord. You have perfect peace. Hear ye the word of the Lord. You mind. Oh, you mind. Ah, la sobre Ah, ya baba baya dos. Eh, sobra baba ya. Jalaka. Jalaka. Jalaka to. Jalaka to. Re sobre gadegadesh. Zelesh. Zelesh. I have perfect peace. Ah, regardless of the storms in the world. Regardless of the winds that blow. Regardless of the economy of my nation. Regardless of the job that I have. Regardless of anything I'm facing. Regardless of the weaknesses. Regardless, I have perfect peace in my soul, in my mind, in my life. All round peace. Echo zile kombaya. Shasu fregelegesh. La 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 babosh. Leke lekesh. Leke lekesh. Regelabosh. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're still going to pray about perfect peace. But I want to refer us to a particular scripture. Pastor has preached about the scripture before. Psalm, Psalm 46. This is a portrait of peace. When you're in peace, this is how it looks like. Psalm 46. This is what it looks like when you have peace. That was it, what I was trying to describe in the story. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Look at what it says. Verse 2. Therefore will not we fear. Though, look at what is happening around the world. Though the earth be removed. Though the mountains be. These are the things that will happen. They will happen in 2021. 2020, they will happen. And though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. What does that mean? 
systems, the things you have trusted, systems of the world. Look at what happened this year. Things will happen. Throw the waters thereof roar and be troubled. Throw the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Things will be threatened. Economies will fail. You will lose your job sometimes. Things will happen. But look at what happens in verse 4. What happens? Can you give us verse 4? There is a river. That's the peace. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Look at what it says in verse 5. Look at what it says. God is in the midst of her and she shall not be moved. Peace makes you unmovable. You are unmovable. Can we begin to decree this peace? This peace in Psalms 46. That regardless of the storms in the world. Perfect peace in my, is mine. Perfect peace is my portion. I am not moved by the things in the world. I am not moved by the elements of the world. I have perfect peace. <laughs> Though the mouth is moved, oh, Shabrakadagalaba, though Akalakalobregadeshiska, though salaries are slashed into half, Ayarasombregadebosh, though all the good of country slits into recession, Ayabaraba, oh, though a PC or PDP or whoever comes in comes into power, I does not affect my peace, Ayarako Shabrakadagabosh. Ah, regardless of the salary I have now, regardless of where I'm living right now, my peace is not dependent on my condition. My peace is not dependent on what I have on my possessions. My peace is dependent on the word of God that says I have perfect peace. I have perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Le cosa pregados, le le cobrabos, la pregados, le gregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregregreg
peace that passes all understanding. It will make sense. And so we're going to be declaring this peace in our hearts, over the house, over your mind, anybody that's experiencing anything that you can't, you don't understand. God wants to superimpose peace. Superimpose peace in your heart such that you are not worried for your own self. And why am I not afraid? People are worried for you that I kill you. That is the kind of peace. It passes all understanding. So can we begin to pray? Peace that passes all understanding. I receive peace that passes all understanding. It doesn't make sense. But I have peace. Oh, pregad as use pregalash. Malako zebenebush. Jere kobobos. in amplified version i like how he says and even the name of our church is there <laughs> amplified version do we have that praise god and god's peace shall be yours that tranquil state of a soul assured somebody say assured assured rest assured of his salvation through christ and so fearing nothing from god and being content content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison somebody say garrison he mounts God peace that mounts God he stays in your heart anything tries to come he says peace is the first thing they meet is peace they are trying to shout on you scream that's how you just come something stands peace calm you are not you are not perturbed you are not ruffled you are calm garrison and mount God over your heart and mind can we pray this prayer that peace stands in front of anything that wants to threaten my peace peace of god stands the peace that passes all understanding all the circumstances of life oh peace oh he's in front mountain god oh deciding with finality oh you have about five minutes begin and declare again into your heart the peace that passes all understanding he mounts God he garrisons my heart he mounts God over my soul he mounts God over my heart in the name of Jesus I receive peace always and by all means remember always and by all means lekato brede kizabash la 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 kozo brede de 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 bosh la barabash la barosh la susko brede de bosh malaboko poko 
And as we begin to wrap up, let's turn to Isaiah 54, verse 10. Isaiah 54, verse 10. We have prayed these three kinds of peace, and God wants to establish a covenant of peace with us. God wants to give us a covenant of peace that starting from today, no matter what happens, He says, For the mountains shall depart. Mountains shall depart. What does that mean? Mountains. No mountains. Mountains to depart something you've trusted all your life. I said, This thing is guaranteed. This thing cannot move. But God is saying, This thing will move. Things will shake. The hills will be removed. Systems, structures that you have banked on. Accounts. So maybe you have some millions in your account. God says, So that's it. These things will move. Hills will move. But my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed. God wants to cut a covenant with you. And it's a covenant of peace. He has already cut it. You just want to declare it. I want to enforce it right now. So can you enforce the Lord? I come into partnership with you. I come into this covenant. I receive. Even as you begin to claim your great peace, Lord, in this covenant, I have great peace. In this covenant, I have perfect peace. In this covenant, I have the peace that passes all understanding. Oh, the covenant of peace. I have the covenant. You know what it means to have a covenant? Covenant cannot break God, does not break his covenant. You <laughs> it cannot shift like the mountains, it cannot shift like the hills. The covenant stands sure forever. Forever, Lord, I receive the covenant of peace. My peace cannot be removed. Oh, the peace that you give to me cannot be removed. Lord, I thank you. Can we begin to thank him, Lord, for this peace? Oh, lift up your voice. I mean to thank God for peace. Receive the peace. Thank him, Lord. I bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for peace that passes all understanding. Thank him for the peace. Oh, begin to imagine yourself in situations that can threaten your peace. And begin to thank God in advance. Begin to thank God in advance that anything I face, peace. Oh, think about anything that could possibly happen. Anything that can possibly happen. What can possibly happen? Oh, the peace of God guarantees. The peace of God is there. Thank Him for great peace. Oh, thank Him for perfect peace. Thank Him for all the peace that passes all understanding. Oh, now begin to receive that always. By all means, you have this peace in you. Always. And by all means, you have this peace in you. Jesus Caprala Combos. Father Lord, I thank you for the peace. Begin to declare peace in this house. That the love will feel in this house. Oh, the prayers we have prayed. The hope we have prayed about. Strength and wisdom. Oh, we pray, oh Lord, that peace will abound in this house. Peace will abound in this house. We will never know strife. We will never have anything that will threaten our peace in the house. In the name of Jesus. This will be a house of peace. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray for peace in this house. Oh, we receive peace, Lord. Peace, peace. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go. <laughs> oh, like a famous telecommunication agency would say. Everywhere you go, peace is everywhere you go as well. Everywhere you go, wherever you find yourself, there's peace. Oh, anywhere you travel to. Kutuwenji, Kuwait. Anywhere, even where there's crisis. Perhaps you have a project. And you have been posted to a place where there is war. It's a war-torn community. Ah, God is saying, you have peace. <laughs> Anywhere you walk into, you are an ambassador of peace. You are an ambassador of peace. When you come in, you radiate peace. Praise God. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song. It's a short song.
I'm just going to sing it repeatedly. Just one line. I don't know if anybody knows the song here. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Hallelujah. Oh, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious on the keys. Glory be to God. Who has is a confession? Keep declaring. Oh, we are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Who has one more time again? Oh, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, glory be to God who has given us feet. Hallelujah. Oh, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Declare your victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Personalize it now. I am victorious. Yes, I am victorious. Glory be to God who has given me victory. One more time. Personalize it. You, I am victorious. Yes, I am victorious. Glory be to God. Who has given us victory? Praise God. Hallelujah. Scripture says, and we know that we are more than conquerors. More. You're not just a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. And you have great peace. You have perfect peace. And you have the peace that passes all understanding. All of that is in the covenant of peace. Praise God. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Glory to God. God. Wow. If you have any voice left, can you lose the rest? <laughs> Glory! Glory! Oh, God! Glory! I see so, some of us still have some left. <laughs> Glory to God. What, what a journey. Can you imagine an eagle in your mind's eye? Just imagine an eagle. And imagine an eagle that is mounting on the wings of grace. Imagine an eagle mounting on the wings of God's grace and soaring so high. Soaring so high at the speed of God's word. Not at the speed of your flesh, but at the speed of God's word. Imagine an eagle that strong, that powerful, that visionary, and soaring so high. Soaring so high. That's you. That's you. You're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. Praise God. You know what I like about the prayer, Pastor Peace just prayed? He says, the God of peace himself. He doesn't contract it. He doesn't make that contract your wife's job and says well you know what your peace is with your wife as long as you're in good terms with her she will give it to you there is no middleman between God and you as far as that peace is concerned he says the God of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means you see why it is stuck unbelief to live in anxiety and fear stuck unbelief because it is always around you always and by all means peace is around but you refuse to acknowledge the peace around you and you start looking for the anxiety that is not around you and you now join yourself with the anxiety and the fear when there is peace all around you always and by all means God promised you he said I will ensure I am the God of peace I'm the bank of peace. I'm the giver of peace. And I will give you peace always and by all means. You will never be short of peace. Wow. Perfect peace. Great peace. And the peace that passes all understanding. People cannot understand you. They cannot understand your swag. Your, your account is dry, but you're still smiling. You're still bouncing in the Lord. Because there is a peace of God that passes. 
surpasses all all understanding and that peace God ensures you, you, you get it it ensures that it gets to you you know there are some kind of contract jobs that you get that you are not the one liaising with the you know disbursing company there is someone that stands in between both of you so they pay you 200k based on the contract that that middleman signed with them but what enters your your hand is is 80k <laughs> that's all very benevolent some people are very unkind they will collect 300k for you but what will reach your hand is 30k <laughs> because there is a middleman if the person was paying you directly you get the entire 300 isn't it but there's somebody standing in between so the person comes to bear determining what gets to your hand eventually God is not like that he has that covenant of peace that contract of peace is with you directly he doesn't contract it with anyone you see why you have no reason to fear no reason to be anxious be anxious for nothing but in all things by prayers and supplications with thanksgiving make your request known unto God praise the name of the Lord we're going to be taking one more Pauline prayer see those prayers are the most powerful prayers you can pray for yourself they're so powerful and i'll share the copy of that book that was my first book in 2014 all right so i'll share the copy of that book um and there's an e-version of it there's an e-version of it so i'll share the copy of that book on the whatsapp group nobody's excited about that but it's, it's fine if, if i'll share a copy of how to how to enter canada how to sleep in nigeria and wake up in canada <laughs> You all will be excited. But this is, this, is, this is how we live. We live in the Pauline prayers. That's, that's our origin, like Pastor Inka rightly said. Hebrews. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 13. I particularly love this Pauline prayer because it's so powerful. So powerful what the Lord is saying here. Hebrews chapter 13. So that you understand that the things that you're saying are impossible are the things that you have exempted God from being involved with. And I'll explain. Verse 20, Bible says, Now may the God of peace again, the same God of peace. And he likes to give some credentials so that you understand how powerful he is. He says, Now may the God of peace, the source of serenity and spiritual well-being. Amplified. Now may the God of peace, the source of serenity and spiritual well-being who brought up from the dead our lord jesus the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood that sealed and ratified the eternal covenant equip you with every good thing to carry out his will and strengthen you making you complete and perfect as you ought to be accomplishing in us that which is pleasing in his sight through jesus christ to whom be the glory forever and ever Let's read that in TPT. Amen. Some of you cannot believe that you have prayed for five hours. Can't believe it. <laughs> Praise God. Now may the God who brought us peace by raising from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ so that he will be the great shepherd of this flock and by the power of the blood of the eternal covenant may, may he work my God. You guys are not saying this. He says, may he work perfection into every part of you. Hi. How do you meditate on these things and not run and come back and lose your mind for a bit and then get back to the word and, and you're trying to wrap your head around this. He says, may he work perfection into every part of you, giving you all that you need to fulfill your destiny. And may he express through you all that is excellent and pleasing to him through your life's union with Jesus, the anointed one, who is to receive all the glory forever. Amen. The beautiful thing about this scripture is that God calls you. He says, I have a work for you. He calls you. So he calls you by, you know, covenant. He calls you. He says, I have a destiny. I have a purpose for you. And then he empowers you now you think that he has empowered you and then you are the one going to do the work i, I like the way kjv puts it Let, let's 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 read kjv before we wrap up 
and then we pray some more this morning or afternoon now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of his everlasting covenant make you perfect in every good work to do his will now when he makes you perfect in every good work to do his will he is now the one that will do the work that he has told you to do he says working in you how can you possibly fail so I have a work for you Victoria I call you to come and do the work that I have for you the expectation is that I'm the one sending you to do the work that I have for you so both of us are separate essentially but there is a work that I have for you to do for me and you have to bring it back to me and ensure that you get my approval and my seal of um, you know acceptance of the work that you have done so what God does is that he calls you to come and do a work as you are going, he says, come, come. He enters into you to be able to do the work in the best way because he has the marking scheme. So he will do it in the best possible way that can get his own approval. He is the sender, he is the doer, and he is the approver of the work that he has ordained for you to do. How can you possibly fail? It's impossible. The only chance for failure is when you separate yourself from him. When you begin to acknowledge the things you are in the flesh, your limitations, your background, your pedigree, what you don't have, your inability to speak good English, your inability to speak boldly, your inability to accommodate, that's what you begin to acknowledge. And then those things now excuse you from being able to do what he has ordained for you to do. How you fulfill your destiny is not by you fulfilling your destiny. It's by allowing him enter into you and doing the work that he has ordained for you to do. And then you will now bring back the work that he walked through you. Imagine the lecturer who sets the question, writes the exam so that he will mark it eventually. How could you fail? How? The person setting the question enters into you in the exam hall, writes out the answers for you and then says, bring your script, let me mark it. How could you fail? This life, this is how we live it. He sends us into life to fulfill a purpose. He enters into us to ensure that we fulfill that purpose. And we come back to him in heaven and he says, did you do what I told you to do? Well, yes, I did every single last one of them because you empowered me to do every one of them. So remember that scripture that Ibilola shared with us, Philippians 2. It is God who is at work in you but to will and to do of his own pleasure because he's the one that will mark it. He's the one that will approve that work. And so we have every reason to give thanks today. So when you read this kind of polite prayer, what bursts forth out of your spirit is thanksgiving. Can you begin to thank the Lord this morning or this afternoon and just thank him for his overwhelming grace? This grace is overwhelming. This grace is overwhelming. How could God love me so much? He enters into me to do what he wants me to do. And then he's still the one that will what mark it. What kind of grace is this? Can you thank him today? Can you thank him today? He asked us to pray and he prayed through us. He's the one that gave us the utterance. You didn't, were not the one that came here to pray, flexing your flesh muscles. It was the Holy Ghost that was praying through you. Taking hold along together with you. Can you thank him this afternoon? Can you thank him this afternoon? Can you worship his holy name? Can you thank him? Can you thank him? Can you thank him? Can you thank him? Thank you thank him? Amen, 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 amen. Sorry to cut you short. I hope you are writing while you are praying. Because you will receive instructions by the reason of this prayers that you have prayed today. You will receive instructions and when you want to execute on those instructions go back to this prayer you called me to do this thing now do this through me there is no possibility for failure so he has sent you into the entertainment industry into the political space sent you into industries whatever it is that he has sent you sent you into you are not going there in your strength in your intelligence in your power in your brilliance you've got nothing of that everything smart about you is reference to him that is in you any glorious thing about you is because there's Christ that is pushing all of that glory out. And so this is the prayer to pray that God, you have ordained me to do this work. Now, empower me. Come into me to do that which is well-pleasing in your sight.
because there's so much God will begin to inspire you to do. So can you begin to thank him for all the things that he's ordained for you to do? And begin to thank him for all the execution that you will begin to execute immediately after this service. Because glory to God, the Holy Spirit does not anoint you to sit down. He anoints you to do something. He anoints you to proclaim, to build, to repair, to preach, to comfort. Remember we talked about that on Sunday? So there are instructions in the Spirit that you must have picked up from TNT today. Instructions in righteousness. You go forth and you begin to execute according to the ordinance of the Spirit. Thank Him for them. Thank Him for them. Thank Him for them. Raise your holy voice and begin to thank Him. Raise your holy hands and begin to thank Him. Raise your heart and begin to thank Him this afternoon. He's been so good. 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 Only the proud will not pray. Only those who believe in themselves will not pray. Only those who believe in the energy of the flesh to sustain a momentum that emanates from the spirit will not pray. I know this momentum is generated by the spirit. I know only the spirit can sustain that momentum. And so prayer is the depot that I visit to receive refreshing loads of grace. Prayer is where I go to get reloaded and refreshed and refined because I can't do this in the flesh. I can't do this in the energy of the flesh. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for empowering us today. Thank you, Lord, for that grace. Thank you, grace. Thank you for that grace. Thank you for that grace. The Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue giveth thanks well. For the next two minutes, can you pray in the Holy Ghost, giving thanks unto His holy name? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Give thanks, 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 give thanks today. Give thanks, give thanks. Pray in the Holy Ghost, give thanks. Pray in the Holy Ghost, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, you give thanks well. You give thanks well. Can you give thanks well today? Give thanks well right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Though our outward man perishes, it is for this cause we faint not. Though our outward man perishes, you are the one looking at calories, you are looking at sugar levels, you are looking at the hours, but the inward man is rejoicing. Every passing hour is getting more strengthened than it was the past hour. It is your flesh that is getting weaker. Your spirit can still go 24 hours right now. Amen. Hey, man. Can you give thanks? Give thanks. Give thanks. If you are able to pray for five hours, for six hours, it is because you were enabled by the Holy Ghost. You were empowered by the Spirit man. Oh, give thanks well. Sharaba Sulaha. Maraba Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm gonna dance and praise him. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. I didn't try to be a winner. <laughs> I was born a winner. I'm a hair. My voice is all over the place. But sing with all your heart. I rejoice in him. I rejoice. In him, I rejoice in him more than victorious. I rejoice in him, I rejoice in him, I rejoice. The greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. Born a winner. More than victorious. I'm a hair. Not a slave. Not a servant. I'm a hair. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I rejoice. Raise your voice. 
morning. Woo! I'll be joy. Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 now thanks be unto God which always I like the way God speaks with absolute finality there is no be uh, be no kalo kalo with God he says always causes us to triumph in Christ making manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place Let, let's read it in other versions so we see Amen. But thanks be to God in Amplified who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us spreads and makes evident everywhere the sweet fragrance of the knowledge of Him. So you see that your work begins outside this church, right? So you, you spread it. You smell it on people. Even if they don't want to smell the goodness. Smell the goodness of God on them. Hallelujah. Woo! Where is it again? 14 God always makes his grace visible in Christ I like that who includes us as partners of his endless triumph through our yielded lives he spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere we go father we give you praise thank you for the grace you have supplied today thank you father because as you say in your word my little children of my travail in birth pangs until christ be formed we know we have advanced in christ some miles today thank you father for the Praise God, you pray six hours. Next year, of course, you know it's going to be six hours. I hope you know that. Amen. It's going to be six hours. In fact, it wasn't supposed to be six hours in the first place. But um, God, God had mercy on you. <laughs> so we started with six. Next year, most likely, we'll, 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 raise, we'll raise it up a little. Amen. It was awesome. I mean, so refreshing to see Oriol Fair. You know, she's never done six hours. But here she is, standing all through. Praise God. It is your body that is feeling tired. Your spirit is fired up. Your spirit can go another 24 hours. I tell you. It is your body that is feeling weak. I'm tired. My back, my legs. Your spirit is like, yeah, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. I tell you. It is our outward man that perishes. Our inward man is renewed day by day by day. And it gets most renewed when we pray. When we pray. What a time in God's presence. Can we celebrate every single pastor? And everyone who has led us in prayer today, Stacy, Ibilola, Dami, 
and all the pastors in the house god bless your hearts thank you so much what a refreshing time of prayer that we had what a time what a time how many of you look forward to next year already hallelujah or tomorrow uh, okay now <laughs> praise god all right have your seats in god's presence if you have a few announcements before we call it a day or should we say before we call it a decade because a decade just happened in this hall right now a decade i tell you you have you have changed things congratulate your neighbor congratulate your neighbor just just give a good word give a good word to that neighbor so you are so blessed you made it wow you're so blessed your next 10 years is is woke <laughs> praise god hallelujah amen and amen please let's give our offerings and our tithes um, as the account will be displayed on the screen all right let's give our offerings and our tithes what a time I, i'm not sure i will recover from this this prayer that we have prayed today and like you have received admonition please do not stop here keep praying wherever you find yourself pray in the car pray in the restroom pray in the boardroom pray everywhere right men ought always to pray and not to faint amen so let's give our offerings and our tithes as we seek to wrap up service amen and amen so we will have hunger games this saturday now we can have hunger games <laughs> now we can have hunger games where we'll have fun eat and play a lot of games so um do we have the jerseys ready oh fantastic let's let's project them so see see the lovely wow b to c believe to c blow beach lavishly on the word the shift those are our buzzwords if you're not a powerpoint member you may not know these words what was blue you think it's whiskey's song blue it's not whiskey though this is not whiskey <laughs> some of you are looking at me like pastor you know whiskey yes god loves him too doesn't it god <laughs> So pros over cons blow so we have them in black and red and blue amazing colors believe to see wow amazing 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 so um if you want any of these jerseys meet with director bilola after service how much do they go for 2500 i believe three thousand praise god the quality is higher this time so i believe that's why the director that given it to us for three thousand but i believe these are very lovely jerseys for us to wear so you wear them as also tools of evangelism people ask you on the road what's blue are you a fan of whiskey they say, no this means to binge lavishly on the word so i, I don't blow with that <laughs> amen so that's um you know you should you should get yourself these jerseys and make sure you wear them to you know work wear them out wear them to church and i'm sure you would have a very good value for the money and of course on the day of hunger games make sure you wear them to for the hunger games but looks like the jerseys wouldn't be ready until hunger games isn't it so we'll pick the jerseys up at the venue of the hunger games and then you can wear them immediately after so we can have a great time we'll take pictures and all that so um how many of us know where we are coming from not Egypt, yeah, but you know where we're coming from. So Cedar Center, where we used to be, right? So that's the venue for Hunger Games. It's going to be really awesome. We'll have a very fantastic time. That's the venue for Hunger Games, the Green Lush Arena. So please be there by 3 p.m., right? Don't, don't be late, okay? It's, at least this one is fun. It's not prayer. Some people already planned their time to do that. They would have prayed for four hours before I come. So I'll come around 12 so that... But this one, you will miss a lot of fun if you come late. So please just make sure you come early. 3 p.m. on Saturday, we would have Hunger Games. And by God's grace, next week, Friday, we would have a carol here in church. All right. But of course, most of the details will be shared with us on Sunday. If there will be cards to invite a friend, because we may have cards to invite others. Like I said, we may not have all the space to have as many people as we would have loved. For the carol but if every one of us here invites one person we we'll should be able to manage the crowd all right so please ensure you bring at least one person for the carol next week friday most likely but more details will be passed across to us by sunday praise the name of the lord hallelujah 
and we're so blessed to have folks in our midst who are coming to Power Point Tribe for the very first time. If you're here today, and today is your very first time of coming to Power Point Tribe, can you rise to your feet? We'd like to love upon you. Everybody's looking in your direction because yes, you're a first time and we love you. Thank you so much. People, please stand up because uh, <laughs> I brought you. So <laughs> Praise God. Can we show some love? Can we celebrate them? Fantastic. Wow, what a time to visit us for the first time. I hope you're not running from this church. The first time I came to that church, six hours, back home. <laughs> don't worry. We don't do this every Sunday, but trust me, this has been very worth, or very much worth your time. All right, so thank you for coming. I'd like to know your name. Can you remain standing for a few more seconds? What, what's the name, sir? What? Atoye B. Fantastic. Who, who invited you to service? Oh, Director Bilola, awesome, awesome. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed every bit of service. Amen. Thank you so much. And we hope to see much more of you. I'll be privileged and honored to be your pastor, okay? So have your seat in God's presence. Thank you. What's the name, ma'am? Boss said day. Awesome, awesome. We invited you to church. Oh, that's um, Debbie, isn't it? Debola, Debola, awesome. Can you... Um, Okay, that's not the parts where we celebrate. But then, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for showing up. Why did you choose to come today, of all days? Like, you knew we were going to be praying for six hours, but you chose to come anyways. That's why you came. I like that. That's awesome. You know, I make a joke that if you want to see Bogboiro Christians, call for a concert. You will see Bogboiro Christians. Even Muslims will show up. They'll come and see Don Wen. They will see everybody. Bogboiro. Then if you want to see, well, some, you know, believers who are growing in faith, Call for a word conference and bring a top minister of the word. You will see them there. When you want to see very strong Christian, call for Bible study, not word conference. Bible study where you do six hours on the word. Uh -huh, you see strong Christians. When you want to see stronger Christians than that, and call for prayer meeting. That's where you see very strong believers. Six hours of prayer, and you chose to come. You're a believer. You believe God. <laughs> Then we want to see fanatics. People who will die for this gospel. Call for evangelism. <laughs> that's the next level, I tell you. So that's how I measure people's commitments. If all you call for is concert, where they are dancing and worshiping, you are just starting. Praise God. When you start coming for evangelism, for prayer meetings, it's okay, no, ojometa. Then you are getting serious with your with your relationship with God. Amen. So thank you very much. I think there's a last person who Oh, that's... Uh, can we meet you, sir? I know you, but I, I'd like us to meet you. What's the name, sir? Fantastic. Uh, who invited you to church? Just for the record. <laughs> so I invited my friend, uh, Pastor Bayo Oshinaga. Fantastic man. Solid, solid man. We share a lot of history. And uh, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed the few hours you met. Praise the name of the Lord. We have come to the end of service today. And so if you're coming for the very first time, ensure you wait behind immediately after service to see Ablazy, right? And Stacy. See they're in that corner. All those amazing ladies. Those please so um Atoyebi, Abosede, and Pibe, please see um these ladies so they can show you a bit more of our hospitality as a tribe. Have you been blessed in service today? Can you rise to your feet with excitement? Hallelujah! No one will see us and think that we are on the other side of six hours of praying. We still feel so energized and that's, that's the way it works. That's the way it should be. So this week, ensure that you keep praying and get, you know, stirred up in the spirit. Neglect not the gift of God that was given to you by the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Lay hand on someone. Well, not lay hands. Grab the hand of someone and say, the Lord bless you and keep you. It looks like you are waiting for this part of service. <laughs> Say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And the Lord give you peace. No beefs, but change your partner. No beef. You are not beefing the person. The person was nice while you were at it. But get another partner and prophesy. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and the Lord give you peace. 
Now get another neighbor. Look for the name of that neighbor. Get the name of that neighbor. Say, Tune this week, this week, this week, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And the Lord give you peace. If you know your life as an experience, I'll turn around this season. Shout! Hallelujah! What a time, what a time. Glory to God. I love you so much. Have a remarkable week ahead. But please, there are apples and bananas for every single one of us. So please, stay on your seat while we serve.